What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another day, another stream, another game. Today, we are starting Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, which is a Musou game based of Fire Emblem with a new story based off Fire Emblem Three Houses which is also the only Fire Emblem game that I have ever played in my entire life. That's not completely true. I played one way back on the Wii. I don't remember what it's called and what it was about, but Three Houses we actually played on the stream. Um, and we all know that Yordi is a big, 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 big fan of Koei Tecmo's Musu games. So, um, with that all being said and done, let's just head right in. Settings. Uh, we want that, we want that. Windows all on, player unit only. Oh, what? Encounter and death cutscenes. Do we go with the Japanese? I don't think we ever use the Japanese voices in the original game. Uh, out to advance, no, no, no. Prompt save after battles, yeah. Okay, there's no difficulty option. This might play a lot like, um... Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Oh, here. For experienced players who like a challenge. That's me. <sighs> Units rise again after battle ends. So, this is a thing that's like known for, from, a known thing from the Fire Emblem games, right? And originally we played three houses without, um, Permadeath. But this time around, we're playing a Musu game. This is not. <laughs> this is not your typical, like, Fire Emblem game. So I think we're gonna go with Classic. I think this is gonna. Whew. Quick and efficient. Keep the action flowing, turning off level up windows and mission briefs. Okay, I do think we're gonna do this on slow and steady. Because I like having my information. And uh, this is what we're gonna go with. Might be a good idea to actually put that in my title. Uh, yeah. Fire Emblem Warriors. Three hopes. Hearts. Burma death. Okay. Let's see how well this is going to go for me, though. Can't help it. Wait, is she bloomed in this one? Or is that just due to the light? Dragon Blaster! <laughs> Nigeru! That's a tortoise. All this bloodshed. Will it never come to an end? Nope. I 
think it's purely due to the lightning. That's well done, I'd say. Hello, where's the freeloader at? I know you're napping around here somewhere. On your feet and back to work already, yeah? Who are they talking about? Me? <laughs> I don't know who we're playing as, by the way. Oh, finally. Come on, sunshine. Byleth. Bayleth. Finally. <laughs> okay, at least this is um. Okay, so we're actually not playing as Byleth, we're playing as the new character. We're gonna take the male form. Hey, get up already! Ugh, I'm sorry. What's going on? What's going on? Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. <laughs> Okay, so his name is usually Shez, but we're going with Yordi, like every single oh, other game we play. Well, looks like there's hope for you yet. Feign indignance. Apologize profusely. So, what kind of character are we gonna be? Apologies, friend. I'm all right. Is the battle at hand? Of course it is. Why else would I be standing here? You heard who we're up against, yeah? Geralt's mercenaries. It's gonna be one hell of a fight if true, especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I've heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? Leave it to you to fumble the details. <laughs> did you even catch this Ashen Demon's name? Of course I did. It was... By the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> the ashen demon form. Okay, so we're starting off like that, right? I want to. We want to fight the female Baylith, obviously. Baylith. We'll just keep with Baylith. It's fine. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, that's it. Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. Well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come a long way since I plucked you from that mountain village. But this battle is about more than just victory. Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor has it they've never blundered even a single job. But once we put them to rout, We'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester! Enemy activity detected, Captain! Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Mind you don't kill each other in the dark. Wasn't expecting a fight so soon, but I guess there's nothing for it. Ready as I'll ever be. Good luck, friend. A double to you. Let's get down to business. We're up against Gerald's mercenaries. B is dodge roll. No jump. Let's move out. Regular attack. Strong attack. Straight into their graves. Time to see what you're made of. Main mission starts. Team up with Getz and Leslie to defeat the nearby enemies. Regular attacks, strong attacks. Yeah. Umbos are pretty much Dynasty Warriors, which is good. Class action, that's nice. I guess this means I can mess with them a little. Myrmidon class actions. Every class has its own unique class action. Jordi is currently a Myrmidon. Hold X. 
to charge the class gauge and release it for a powerful sweeping attack. You can move while charging. Press and hold X during a strong attack to reduce the charge time. Nearby enemies. Guess that's that. I eat steak tougher than this. Hey, you, clear out that group over there. Uh, target with the right stick. I have to change targets. Is that L for block and B for dodge? Any missions? Perfect garden. Uh, to display quick menu. With quick menu displayed, press to use combo arts. Oh. Cannot use the same combo arts or magic multiple times in a row and instead must wait a certain amount of time. Using combat arts and magic will reduce your weapon's durability. If your ability gets low, you will be unable to use corresponding combat arts or magic. Your ability will be restored at the end of Okay, that's good to know. Oh wait, I'm pressing the wrong button. Wrath Strike. HP drops. Kill that. Not too shabby. I'll take out the stronghold over this way, yeah? You get the one over there. Can't wait to wrap this up so we can all drown ourselves in ale. Base captains contain base controlled by the forces in the battle. These serve as origin points for each side's soldiers. You can capture base by defeating the base captain. You know how that works. Rounder. Swift and clean. Still four few fools left. Time to take the stronghold. May mission start. Drain the stronghold captain stun gauge and defeat them with critical rush. At times the stun gauge will appear over an enemy commander's head, continue attacking to completely deplete the gauge, and then press X to perform a critical rush. Stun gauge displays when you land a certain attack against the enemy, or when the enemy performs certain action certain moves. Moves, action, same thing. Stun gauge displays when hitting an enemy with offensive combat arts, executing perfect guard, and enemy is preparing to use combat arts or magic. An attack knocks an enemy back. Critical rush. That's a typical thing. Battlefields contain strongholds that are controlled by various forces engaged in battle. Enemies and allies alike will slowly regain HP while in the stronghold under their control. Oh, that's nice. Durability restorate. Ooh. Talk about nice. Forces here. We're safe. Now push. Push the enemy back. About time a foe with some teeth showed up. But they still don't stand a chance against Burling's mercenaries. Now, 
Isn't this a sight? You must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. This will be the end of the Ashen Demon. No one can be the captain. He's parrying. Captain. Oh. They took out last year. She was nothing. Ugh. I can't believe I'm losing to some damn kid. Captain Burling's in trouble. They have to reach her before it's too late. Okay, good one. There's so many of them. Only one thing to do about that. Warrior gauge is full. Press A to unleash warrior special. Take A the Musu attack. Gerald's mercenaries, Byleth. Stand down or die. We're gonna stand, we're gonna fight, and we're gonna avenge the Holy captain. shit! Why am I so scared? It's just one merc. It says died. No, this can't be happening. Okay, we're it's the fight we're supposed to lose. Nice punch in the face. This world, I will not allow it to perish with you. <laughs> Fuck. Where did you get that power? Yeah, no, no idea. But it's just what I need to bring you down. We're here to help. Here it comes. Is she blocking that? But this fight is over. Hey, wait. Why? We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop us, and you failed. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. Hey, we're not done here. <clears throat> wait. 
Wait. Why am I, Why am I so tired? So tired. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Huh? Where am I? Oh good, you're awake. Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. Jeff! Who are you? Ha! Now that is a tricky question. For the moment, why don't you call me Arbal? I like this voice actor. It reminds me uh, of the voice actor from uh, The World Ends With You, Joshua. Arval, huh? But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. Right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. Um... Thank you. Oh, oh my, that's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. Hear me well, you are a crucial piece of this world's cyclical... Yeah, uh, no, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. For now, I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will. I don't understand. I'm already up and about. Ah, perhaps here you are, but not in reality. <laughs> <It counts. laughs> your cluelessness is actually quite charming. I think you're starting to grow on me. Still, the important thing is what you do after you wake. And what should that be? Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you. Came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, you will reach the same conclusion. This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. Then I'll get stronger. The man I am now will seem like a little kid in comparison. And one day, I will surpass the Ashen Demon. I swear it. Indeed. My captain and comrades are dead. The company is finished. So, there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you'd be more sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? The gold's the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Partings just come easy to me, I guess. The best way to honor my fallen comrades is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Geralt's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit. Though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. The point is that I'm here to guide you. And I promise to help you find the strength to see your dreams realized. Cool. Interesting. We're not yet in chapter 4, so I guess I don't have to worry about permadeath. <laughs> that was uh, quite a tricky fight, if I'm completely honest. It was like fighting Lu Bu all over again. ...to be protected by a goddess has existed for uncountable ages. Now, three ruling powers control the land. To the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. To the north is the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee, rules the Leicester Alliance. Though once consumed in war, these three powers now exist in relative harmony. Nestled between them is Garag Mach Monastery, seat of the Church of Saros, the land's widely practiced faith 
and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramire, and west of this place stretches a forest where a lone mercenary awaits. Six months later. Hey, wake up! Wake up. Ugh, how many times must we do this? Get up already! Huh? That's weird. I could have sworn I heard someone calling me. It's still dark out, though. Hello? Yes, I was calling you. Many times, I might add. <sighs> Come on, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice! Harful. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not for me? I'll tell you. 22. The three times you leapt off a cliff to quote unquote get tougher <laughs> saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved you. And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. Ignoring me, hmm? I'll take that to mean I touched a nerve. At any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. And by we, I mean you. And by a few, I mean far, far more than average. Our uh, pro tag here is now, quite a dummy, isn't he? That out of the way. Would you like to know why I've roused you from your mud caked slumber? Actually, it's probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Hmm? Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Dimitri, Claude. Lost, schmast. We've got it on Imperial authority. The annoying boys the and the, the bay. True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is in the thick of these mountains? Little guards. I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as an arrow. Oh, both of you. Someone's here. Another and bandit, perhaps? perhaps? They're mistaking you for some common backwater thief. What cheek. Hold on there. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. Well, that makes everything better. A bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a sellsword. What brings you here? We've no time for an interrogation. Our pursuers are closing in. I don't know who you people are or what you want, but I think introductions can wait. You clearly need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling awfully light lately. What do you say? Awfully light lately. Smooth. Well, since you're here, do you mind stepping in and helping us chase off these scary bandits? Don't worry about payment. You'll receive plenty of coin. If we survive, that is. Changing class to new abilities. You already changed class and now is now a flugel. Learned a unique ability. There are three types of unique abilities. Action, support, and tactical. Battle press all and X to check the class and the unique abilities of the unit you are currently controlling. Item. Resource pouch. Okay, so the best we can get is blue. Iron King's Thieves cost us. Beat the Thieves. Okay. Flugel. Level 1. Action Shadow Flash. Oh, cool. 
Mortal Coil, when HP is at 90% or above, increase the Warrior's Gauge. Fill Raids, Mercenaries, Creed. To attack, increase damage dealt to enemies. Oh, sick. Classes and Affinity. Oh. Be displayed on the mini map or above the enemy commander's head. Advantage. The more advantage uh, effects you have against the enemy, the more up arrows there will be. The easier it will be to decrease their stun gauge. Nice. Advantage can be determined by class. Check the class abilities. Screen, blah, blah, blah. Being a fighter class equipped with an axe, Edelgard has a strong advantage against lance wielding enemies. Deal with things here. Watch this. Oh. Let me show you a trick for dealing with heavily defended enemies. I get to play as my babe. Is there an easy way for me to change characters? Oh, I can actually order as well. That's super sick. Um, menu. Okay, so with the up and down arrows, I can switch characters again. Take a breather. Well, I suppose my turn has arrived. Dimitri is now playable. Um, look at Yordi figuring things out before the game handhelds him into that situation. Guards interrupt in this game, that's kind of a shame, but you can forge interrupt though. Apologies, but it was you or me. Just who are these people anyway? All three of them have crests. Crest effects. Units with crests can trigger crest effects under certain conditions. You can find details about crest effect by selecting details on the status screen. Oh, what a crest name. Details. Minor Crest of Blyadi. 20% chance to increase damage dealt by combat arts in exchange for greatly increasing the weapon's durability cost. Interesting. Slightly increase the damage dealt by combat arts. I'll be honest, I do like, uh, what's this mofo's name again? Dimitri. I don't like Dimitri. Is it clog time? I think it's clog time. But I do like its weapon style so far. Extra effective attacks. Extra effective, you have three tiers of great advantage against the enemy. Deal greater damage, just engage this place all. Oh, oh. Back to face armored units, armored class such as armored knight, flyers, flying class such as pegasus knights and wyvern riders are vulnerable to the abilities effective face flyers, switch active in clouds. There's clouds. I'm a master of strategy, but I'm not really used to being on the front lines. You have a thing for bleeding, Dimitri? Heal up already. Use for an 
Vulnerate uh, and restore your HP. Your available numbers of vulnerings will be refilled at the end of each battle. I can say I like, uh, what's your name, Claude's combat style so far. Archery is not too bad, but he's a little bit too stationary for my taste. Bandits have a firm hold on the central road. It would be wise to move through the forest and take down the strongholds as we go. Try and keep an eye on who we're fighting and make sure we've got the right person leading the charge at the right time. Mission starts. Start during battle to issue orders from here. You can. Okay, no out of battle. Um. Here I go. No mistakes. Edelgard is probably best to go this way. Seize. Doesn't have the greatest advantage against that enemy. Neither to this one. But this one is completely overpowering. Oh wait, I can send her all the way over here. They must learn who they're up against. You need to go this way. This, this section is pretty smooth. Okay. Move bolts. That was fast. What shot of defenses? We'll be done before we know it if they're all like this. I did not anticipate that to go that fast. But then again, the percentages on those bases were very low. So that must be the reason why. That ought to unravel their defenses. Enough of this strategy nonsense! Get out there and tear up all the faces! Okay, how many thugs does this guy have working for him anyway? Okay, um... Order. No mistakes. You're strong. They must learn who they we will proceed as planned. We must strike. Let's try this. Let's see how this. Alois Rangelt. The Knights of Seros are here, and we'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. <laughs> Well, that not now. If I don't kill at least one of them, Brett, I'm finished. Watch out, they're gonna make a last ditch effort to rush our position. Defeat Costos. Defensive. Form ranks Sick. and capture those bandits quickly now. This is where you die, dogs. This is where you die, dogs. Awakening. When the awakening gauge is filled, press R and A to awaken. Your unit will remain awakened until the gauge depletes. 
can also press R and A to cancel awakened state while awakened. All attacks will make the stun gauge appear. The stun gauge will deplete quickly regardless of advantage. You'll receive bonus based on the number of enemies defeated. Your HP will not reach zero regardless of damage taken. Fade the awakened gauge, pick up blue tonics, damage enemies, execute rushes. A while awakened or completely deplete the awakening gauge to trigger warrior special to end the awakening state. The end of the awakening state. Do you fear that power? Maybe you can channel it like you did in the other battles. I think I need to pay a bit more attention to my surroundings, but it's fine for now. Destroyed. We cannot allow ourselves to perish here. I'm afraid we must spare no mercy for you. Never take it this job. Nice. Is it over? Stage complete. S, S, S. S rank, White Verona. Since following as an S rank, first time rewards a billion. After battle, the battle rank will grade you. Hey, hey, kill, what's up, dude? There are five ranks, S, A, B, C, and D. Higher ranks will net you more experience and gold. Your battle rank is determined by three factors. Completion time, enemies defeated, damage taken. That's um, the usual kind of stick. Actually, the first time you complete a quest, you'll receive a first time reward. So receive S rank reward. Level up! We're now level 3. Leveling up in stats and greens. Defeat enemies to gain experience leveling up your unit. Improving their stats. A unit stats growth will depend on their own individual qualities. Hit points, maximum HP, obviously strength effect, attack power, magic effect of magic attacks. Sterity affect the attack power of critical rushes as well as critical hit rate. Affects the duration of the awakened state and recharge time for combat arts and magic. Luck affects the parents rate of recovery items. Defense, physical attack resistance, magic attacks. And charm, drain rate of a battalion's endurance. Okay, nice. I MVP. Myself stop here. Oh, extra experience points again. The unit who performed the best in battle will be... Select as the MVP. The MVP unit will gain additional experience. Morning. Nice day fishing, ain't it? <laughs> Keep aiming higher. Leveling up combat arts and magic. Combat arts and magic will level up after they have been used a set number of times. This will make them stronger and reduce weapon durability loss when they are used. Actually, didn't use them at all today. Class experience and class level. Any units participating in battle will receive class experience post-battle. If this raises their class level, they may acquire new combat arts, magic, or abilities, and their weapon level may increase. When units' weapon level increase, they'll be able to equip more powerful weapons. They'll be able to attack more times consecutively. Consecutively. Jordi is actually really tired and exhausted from having to deal with all the heat. But other than that, doing a pretty decent job. After battle, you'll be able to check the contents of weapon packs and resource pouches you acquired in battle. If you've reached your inventory limit, excess items will be sold off automatically. No, that's not great. Set boosting items give a stat boost to the selected unit. You can use stat boosting items by selecting storehouse from the pause menu. Resistance, 
bullion, a gold bullion that sells a high price at shops. Repair weapons. I have toxic ore that should be handled with great care. Carrots. How are you doing today, Kill? Hang on. You're seriously the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance? Yes. And as the three of us are now in your debt, I think formal introductions are in order. My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld, Princess of Edelgard's Bay! I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathen, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. You guys can hear it, that's good. And I'm Claude Von Regan, grandson of the leader of the Leicester Alliance. Things looked grim there for a moment. Thanks to you, we put those bandits to flight. Bit of a miracle we ran into you out there, but hey, I'll take it. Hey, I only fought well because I had such fine companions by my side. There may be some truth to that. I can't shake the feeling that we were destined to meet somehow. All right, just getting some exercise in. Oh, nice kill. Day, an unlikely trio. I wonder why those bandits were after them. Still, it's no concern of ours. We have our own plans to attend to. Now, collect your pay and be off before they get a wild idea and ask. Say, while I have you here, do you know where I can find Remire Village? I took a wrong turn somewhere along the way. I'm looking for a band of hardened mercenaries who follow a man named Gerald. I hear rumors that's where they're camped. Actually, Remeyer might just be the village we've been looking for, too. That ring a bell, Edelgard? I don't remember hearing anything about Mercs, but... The name sounds correct, at least. Hmm. Gerald's too smart to get smoked out by a bunch of rumors, but they're all I've got at the moment. In any case, we won't find our own two feet in all this dark. We should return to camp and get our bearings before... Hello there, house leaders. Hello, brave mercenary. Aloise. We've mopped up what's left of those rascals. So what say we return to camp? And I insist you accompany us, good mercenary. Who, me? You heard the man. We'll wait out the night together and make for the village in the morning. It's a great plan, especially if you want to get paid, as we're a tiny bit short on pocket change at the moment. Yes. And those mercenaries you're looking for? Gerald's band, was it? They may be in Ramire Village tonight, but there's no telling when they'll move on. If you come back to our camp, we have maps that may help you. Okay, so this is a different ahead. timeline again. Saw this video in the Netherlands and guess what was in it? Windmills, cheese, weed, windmills and lilies. <laughs> This is clearly the wisest course of action. Not to mention that I would enjoy conversing with you further. But of course, the choice is yours. Ugh, why can't things ever be simple? All right, no, but just for the night. Perfect. Then might I borrow you for a moment after we reach camp? There is a matter we must speak about. Nothing alarming, I promise you. Right then, so off we go. But, um, if I may, did I hear you mention a Gerald earlier? Yes, do you know him? He heads up a pretty elite band of mercenaries, so I imagine his name is spread all over Fodland by now. Mercenaries, is it? No. No, it can't be him. Can it? Well, I'll just have to meet this Gerald myself. After I've seen my duties through, of course. After all, if I don't finish my assigned tasks, I'm mission the point. Mission the point. Missing the point. Missing. Mission. Mission. Come, Come now, on now, it's good stuff. A dad joke. <laughs> That's our Eloise. Come on, let's get moving before he really gets going. MVP. That's me. After battle, you'll be able to interact with your allies back at camp. Press A when near you need to talk to them. Holy shit, this camp is huge. Student. Hey. Can't believe how quickly those thugs set upon us. Class heads ran off, people were shouting orders, so. It's the right mess. Say, 
for you anyway? I don't remember. Hey, you're the one with the surviving uh, brigands, aren't you? So I don't know. Make one. Greetings. Told me all about what happened. Thank you for assisting the class. Had had anything happened to the students, we all would have paid in heartache By and worse. Way. Reminds me of the previous term when a student who returned home from the academy went missing and, uh, forgive me, I'm rambling. Hey. Welcome to our humble base camp. I assume you're familiar with the officer's academy on the grounds of Garrick Mark Monastery, yes? Three young people you assist earlier are the heads of the academy three houses, but you'll find other students, teachers, and even members of the Knights of Serals here in this camp. Fairy Cobbles in the middle of an annual outdoor activity carried out at the beginning of the academy school year. But situation became quite the mess when that band of brigands attacked us. I wish we could chat at length, but it seems the three class heads wish to speak with you. Else I cannot keep you all to myself. This is a great opportunity for you to bond with your resources. We're gonna talk to everyone. It's you! We've held these kinds of outdoors activities countless times, but I've never seen anything like this happen. Plus, we've got three high-ranking noble children here, so the guards was more than double that of the usual year. To think they were nearly killed by some pack of base brigands. It's a real mess, <laughs> make no mistake. And now I have to find a way to explain it all to Lady Rhea. Huh. Huh, it's you. You're the new merc, right, Jordy? The boar says you had some skill. You'll have to give me a demonstration before we head out. Deal. Can clear some time before sunrise. Looking forward to it. Support points. Strength of a bond between two units. Units gain support points by giving appropriate answers in conversation. Performing actions that make the other happy or head into battle together. Oh, you're that mercenary. It's great to meet you. I'm Annette, and this is my best friend, Mercedes. Hello there. I remember how I made a full female army. Three houses. Except I couldn't get rid of my male companions. <laughs> Have you already spoken with the others? Let's see. I'm planning to. <laughs> I suppose that means none of us know that much about each other. I'll just start the officer's academy, so my grasp on the other blue lines is to news at best. Okay. Oh, it's my thanks. You assisted his highness and have my gratitude. I will see this debt repaid. Uh -uh. I just chipped in a little at no. the end there. Little or no, I must offer I thanks. See. To be honest, I'd like to treat you to a meal, but we lack the time. Let's go talk to Dimitri. Let me f begin my first convey my gratitude to you, Jordi. We are in your depth. Also, I examined the map earlier, and the village where you are headed seems to be a little more to the east. Thanks. Appreciate it. I checked the map earlier, but couldn't tell where in the woods I actually was. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could be of service. I hope you are able to reach your destination this By time. You'll be staying until sunrise, yes? I hope you'll take the opportunity to converse with the others here. Of course, now that you've sprung the idea... I've sprung the idea on you so suddenly, you'll likely find yourself at a loss as to whom you ought to speak to. This? That note, you would be more than happy to give you an introduction to any of the Blue Line students. The deuce. The deuce is the fighter. It's from the land of Duskar. Perhaps you've heard of it. He tends to keep to himself, but he possesses one of the kindest hearts of anyone I know. I'm proud to call him my vassal. Speak to him, and you'll see why. Felix is the son of Duke Fraldarius. He has a sharp wit, and even sharper tongue. But, he's a good person at his core. I can attest to that. He has always admired strength above all else in a fighter. I imagine the two of you will make fast friends. I 
only first met her here at the Academy. She seems a gentle soul with great inner strength. From what I understand, she has traveled far and wide throughout both the Empire and the Kingdom. Perhaps that explains her demeanor. In the far south of Fargus lies a manor by the name of Castle Gaspar. Ash is the adopted son of that castle's lord, Lenato. He's an honest boy, well deserving of our trust. I'd like to get to know him better someday, should the opportunity arise. He's a fighter right now. Annette is the hardest worker in the entirety of the Blue Lion House. She is truly brilliant. I could stand to learn from her single-minded devotion, if only a little. Sylvain is the son of Margrave Gautier. You may have already noticed, but he's something of a womanizer. That may be putting it lightly, in fact. But despite his apparent indifference, he possesses great cunning and is quicker on his feet than anyone else here. I've known him long, so I'm well aware. Ingrid is the daughter of Count Galatea, and she is far more gallant than your run of the mill knight. She has ever been straight laced and diligent, even when we were but children. It is not an uncommon sight to find her scolding Sylvain for his indiscretions. Can I talk to him again? I see. No. Thanks. Hello, friend. You're the one who helped Dimitri, right? Well, we all owe you for that. So if you need a meal, it's on me. Grateful as well. I'd offer my thanks with a meal, too, but I heard you'll be leaving us shortly. Speak a moment? Oh, and I don't believe I got your name. Hmm. The name's Jordy. Keep it in mind if you, in case you've ever need a heavy hitter. <laughs> I'll do just that. And while it's unfortunate we're parting ways here, I suspect we may have a chance to meet again in the Not future. Good. Shame we don't have the time to get to know each other. A little better, though. Talk to this church soldier here. What did you need? Can't believe they talked me into going on this trip. It'll be fun, they said. Nothing ever happens, they said. And then BAM! Disaster and danger everywhere. I thought I was going to die out there. I was swinging my spear at anything that got within range, but then some girl from the officer's academy showed up and led me to safety. <laughs> wow. I tell you, kids these days are graceful and strong. Nothing like the useless punks from my day. Are you talking about yourself, friend? Hubert! Hubert! Hmm. Ah, yes, you are the mercenary we happened across. Well, I harbor some reservations about you. The fact remains that you assist Lady Edelgard, and for that I offer my gratitude. Huh? I have to help, although I would mind some details about the whole reservation right. part. My thoughts are mine alone. You need not concern yourself with the matter. Typical. I should probably go talk to Edelgard first. We might be able to get like better dialogue options. Thank you. Ah, there you are. Thank you for your assistance in the previous battle. I'd like to discuss your f your further if you have a moment. If you find yourself with no place to go after we accomplish our objective, I'm hoping we might hire you on with the what Empire. You Promise you'll be handling pla paid plate, sure plate, including the work you did today. So what do you say? Not usually hired into service by people quite so high up the food chain. Quite a special attention. <laughs> I value your talent now that I've had the ability to see it firsthand. By the by, have you spoken with the others here in the camp? If you'd like, I can tell you a little bit about the students in my own house, the Black Eagles. Well, you're certainly not timid. You do realize you're addressing the heir to the Imperial throne, yes? Our mortal lords. Still, I suppose I admire that sort of freedom. It must be nice not to have your lot in life decided for you. Hubert of House Vestra is my attendant. His family is unusual in that they're noble but lack territory of their own. 
Gilbert is deeply loyal to me, and you can trust him completely. In fact, I imagine he's quite grateful for what you've already done. That's Dorothea Arnault. She's an up-and-coming songstress in a famous imperial opera company. Or she was, at least. For some reason, she abandoned her musical career and enrolled in the Officers' Academy. She has a very magnetic personality, which I'm sure you'll see. Have you spoken with Ferdinand? One conversation will explain him far better than I can. Ferdinand. He's the heir to an influential house, which drives him to excel. But he can be quite the handful sometimes. One of our classmates usually stays holed up in the dormitory instead of coming on these assignments. Her name is Bernadetta. A Bernie. If you bump into her, don't be surprised if she screams and runs away. That's sort of her thing. thing. Casper. Casper is the second born son of a great and noble house. But as he's not the heir, you might say he joined the academy to make his own way. War and fighting are his sole pursuits, so I bet the two of you will get along just fine. Petra. Petra isn't from the Empire. She's the granddaughter of the King of Bridget, which is an archipelago situated off our western coast. You'll find her a quick study, a gifted fighter, and endlessly curious. But always come prepared to talk, because she'll definitely want to pick your brain. Please don't pick it too hard. I need it. Surely you know someone like Linhart. He's as bright as they come, yet just as lazy as well. That's simply how he is, though. I can't force him to apply himself, but he'll come around, most likely. Okay, let's go talk to everyone. Listen. Hello, I'm called Petra. I'm finding you to be quite fascinating. Right on. Hey there, I'm Jordy. I'm technically a mercenary, though I guess right now I'm kind of just a drifter. Not has much difficulty. Do not have understanding. Where are you drifting yeah, to? I don't know. Through the world, you know, just sort of kicking around with no real end goal. Killed so many people today that I've never, that I never want to look at a bandage again. And who do we have here? No way! Don't say. Let me guess. You're the brave vagabond knight who appeared to, too boldly to protect me from those brigands earlier. Roll with it. Oh yeah, that's me. All right. Oh, name Jordy, by the way. <laughs> You're very kind to go along with my little jape. Well, hi. Well then, I'm Manuela. A professor at the Officers' Academy, a doctor and also a songstress of a world-renowned opera company. Though I have worked myself to be very to the very bone today. So right now, I am merely a sad and lonesome woman. <laughs> sad and lonesome Professor Hanuman. Right. I am Hanuman, a professor at the Officers' Academy. I heard tale of your recent exploits and wish to express my thanks. Oh, and another matter, do you... Possess a crest. Hmm. Crests are some magic noble thing, right? All all. Listen well now, crests are power that dwells in the blood, and they are passed down through the generations from parent to child. Those with crests may access that magic or perhaps have the ability to wield powerful weapons known as heroes relics. When I heard about what you did, I thought perhaps you were in possession of one, but seeing your reaction, I imagine you never looked into the matter. Hmm. If you were to come to my residence at the monastery, I could talk, take the time it, to conduct full investigation if you'd like. Oh. Hey there. Ash. Oh, you must be the mercenary I've been hearing about. I'm Ash, and I'm a student at Greg Marsh Officers Academy. You know about the academy? See, there are three houses, each based on where a person is from. See. Not much of a high society and fancy balls right. and all that. Just how you feel. I was adopted by a noble, but was born a commoner. Actually, I find it pretty daunting to always be surrounded by the rich mm. and powerful. 
a lot easier to talk to someone like you. Wonder if the other response would have, like, increased the favoritism. But we'll never know. Dorothea! You must be the mercenary Eddie told us about. I'm Dorothea. You've heard about the Officers Academy, right? Well, pretty much all of this year's students from Black Eagle House are here at the moment. Except Bernadetta, which is sadly typical. She stayed behind because she was terrified of the idea what we might be attacked in the woods. Can't believe she ended up being right. <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't mean to ramble. Has anyone ever told you you're surprisingly easy to talk to? Okay, no... nothing. Hey, Lindart, wake up. Look, I get that you're tired, but we're leaving at the crack of dawn, remember? The bandit at the tech stole my chance for sleep, so I must... Mm, and who might you be? Hey there, the name's Jordy. I'm a merc who's just passing through the area. Got caught up fighting those bandits earlier, which is how I ended up here. Wait, so you're the one who took out their boss? You're amazing. Should've given... I should've given chase and knocked them around a bit myself, but oh well. Thank you for cooperating with the heads of the three houses. It seems like the class had served as decoy to draw most of the thieves before finding an opportunity to flee. Thanks to that, the others managed to hold fast with only light injuries. Still, it would have been tragic had any of the heads been seriously injured or worse. I'm just grateful for all your help. Uh, Ferdinand is the last one here. Look who has arrived. Well, well, the mercenary who cut down the leader of those thieves. I must say, that was quite a capable display you put on back there. <laughs> I'm Ferdinand von Eger, legitimate coin of the Eger family, the foremost house of the Empire. Try to play along. Hmm. I think I've heard of you. You're one of the big Empire's movers, what? right? You've heard of us? Why, I never see you. Now, see here, my Sil sword friends. We are House Aegir, proud eagles of the Empire. I Clearly, I must work harder as a beacon to the common folk, so they might cry the name of my family for one end to the continent to the other. <laughs> These guys are so weird. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you're just gonna tell me about the houses, I don't really give a shit. Claude! Hey friend, appreciate what you did back there. We'd have been in a world of hurt without you. Oh, and regarding compensation, Eloise told me not to pay you personally. Guess they want to handle it as a church thing? Sorry about that. Hey, as long as I get paid, I don't care who's handing over the coin. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> you're definitely a mercenary, all right. Speaking of... Speaking of which, have you talked with the others here at camp? That? I can tell you a little bit about the students in my Golden Deer house. Who, me? Who, me? I'm, I'm more curious, curious about you, you personally. If you don't have anything if... better to do, I'd be glad to have you join us at Garrick Mott. <laughs> Wyvern Mastid. Have you met him yet? At first, I thought he was real serious and persnickety. But that image shattered pretty quick once I noticed him chatting up every girl in the monastery. <laughs> really? I don't remember that about him at all. I don't remember Lorenz at all, actually. He old I'm out with her, I remember. Seems like she had a pretty cushy life growing up. Which means she's gotten into the habit of slacking off and making other people do things for her. He's a pretty friendly guy. No, it'd be nice if you talked about something other than muscles. Muscles power. <laughs> he comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. He's had it pretty rough. Lysithea, now I remember her as well. Her like a child. I made that mistake earlier, and she nearly took my head off. But she's clearly the youngest out of this year's students, so I don't get what the big deal is. Just another pampered noble, I guess. He is so easygoing, this guy. Ignatz likes the great outdoors. Definitely more than the rest of us, anyway. He's the second son of a merchant family, but says he wants to be a knight. He doesn't really seem suited for it, though. 
Maybe his parents are making him do it. Oh, Marianne? She's Margrave Edmund's daughter, but that's all I know about her. She doesn't interact with the other students at all. I'll admit, she intrigues me. Leone wants to be a mercenary. I bet you two would have lots to talk about. Oh, no, no, no. She is a... She is a Gerald fan, and uh, we're out to murder. I mean... You're both pretty frank, too. I just hope you're not as obsessed with saving money as she is. Looks like Dawn is almost here. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, are you the mercenary who helped claw out of that little gem? I heard you're super strong, so I was kind of picturing you as one of those huge bodybuilders or something. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. I'm just your average guy. Too average, if you ask me. Talk about a letdown. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm just joking. You're pretty easy to talk to, so I couldn't help myself. Anyways, thanks for helping Cloud out. Hey, you're a new face. Are you a student from one of the other houses? You must be the mercenary we've been hearing so much about. What was your name again? Right on. Yeah, I'm Yordi. Good to meet you. How else are you guys Go with? Friend. We're in Cloud's house, the Golden Deer. But we're just regular old common folk. Due to the nature of Leicester, we have more students from the commoner class than the other houses. Imagine you're a commoner yourself. What's with being mercenary and all? Um, oh, um, you're that mercenary as everyone's talking about, Jordy, was it? You're not attempting to curry favor with children of nobility in pursuit of some nefarious aim, are you? Nah, it's just helping out some strangers. Still, I always, it's always good for a merc to have folk like that in his debt. See. And do you think our mercenary friend is someone worthy of trust, Marianne? I can't pronounce her name. What, me? I am. <laughs> oh, either way, we need to be going. We're busy. Wow. <laughs> Still the same. Still the same. Ah, you must be the famed mercenary of the woods who stepped in unbinding to aid Cloud. As a noble re representative of the Leicester Alliance, I must offer you my thanks. Whatever you say, pal. See you around. Wait just a moment. If you are indeed a mercenary, then you should hope to gain influence with me. After all, I'm Lorenz Hellman Gloucester. <laughs> okay, probably good to know for the next time that he likes to uh, be chased on his nobility. Hey, aren't you that merc who helped out Cloud and the others? Actually gunning to become a mercenary, mercenary, mercenary myself. That's why I enrolled at the Officer's Academy. In that case, I hope we end up working thanks. together. Hey, thanks. I'll Give it all I got. I'm going to work myself to the bone so I can just be as strong as the captain someday. Aloise. Aloy. Ah, you already have you spoken with the house That's leaders yet? What? You're leaving? But that won't do. Actually, I was hoping I could ask something of you. Would you hear me out? Yes. My sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Remire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but... Well, perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garagmach Monastery instead. And why would I do that, exactly? Because you've done us a great service and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also... Between you and me, this evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officers Academy out of our sight, and house leaders of great political consequence at that. And then they crossed swords with bandits! If word got out, well, let's just say it would sit poorly with everyone. So you'll see why we must ensure you are well compensated. Also, there may be some papers for you to sign. Perhaps in blood. This sounds more like hush money than a reward. Yes, that's exactly what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, I'd just as soon send you on your way, but I fear I'm obligated.
to escort you back. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softy. Well, what do you think? Garrett Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be. But this man seems Whatever gets us closer to Edelgard. I guess I'm not opposed to helping out a little more. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. Hammy! Ha <laughs> ha! has anyone ever told you- Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. Hmm? Told me what? Uh, told you how dashing you are in that armor. Not just any man could pull off that look. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last ding and dent. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why, take this one here. We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Mock. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might. I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps. It... Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this, considering you're only here because of us. Well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. Actually, I see this is just another chance to better myself. You are more gracious than I. But, as I see you've made peace with it, I will leave the matter be. Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! Oh, I, I, all this talking, that's definitely not something that I've missed from Fire Emblem game Listen, form. I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp, after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you. I... Thanks, Claude. I know you will. Hey! Hurry up back there, or we'll leave you behind! You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself. But what do you make of them? It seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me, every chance he gets. He'll definitely make a good king, the kind who looks after his people. Claude's a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble, and I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's gonna be easy to work with. <laughs> of course, you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? Still, you better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. So far, so good. Prologue, three houses. Oh, we're still in the prologue, guys? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Gerig Mach's Officer's Academy, and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gerig Mach. I was exercising, go and kill. Gerig Mach. Looks like a nice place. Nice enough place. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of? Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church. The of Archbishop of the Church of Sables. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. 
I'm just glad I could help. Such modesty is not required around me. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. Let's turn the volume up on my side a little bit. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the officer's academy here at the monastery. We would have you join this academy as a student. As a student? You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. To walking 30 minutes of wait, wait, wait it's nice. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. Turn her down or express the interest in the I offer. Need to get stronger if I'm going to do what I need to. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. The Knights of Seraphs as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after, we can certainly provide it in spades. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. All right, I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. Just wait, Ray, until I have your head on the platter again. Spoilers for the first, uh, for the original game. We, I put her head on the platter. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure where this story is gonna go because it seems to like be completely like different universal uh, like story because of the new character, and uh, Byleth and Gerald are not even in, or maybe they are, but. They're probably not even in here right now. At the church slash teaching. Plus we go in as a student instead of a teacher, which is also kind of different. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodlan. Some are noble while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as we ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof so they can challenge each other, work hard. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Anuela. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House. I remember you. Students from the Lester the blonde guy. But he dies early, I think. Something happens to him. You don't get much contact in the actual three houses game with him, at least. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, Perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. After all. So I can join any house and I want? And join any house I want? Yes. Yes. You have simply to name it. Obviously, Edelgard! Edelgard! <clears throat> to join Edelgard. Listen, this is my main choice every single game. Are you certain? Every every playthrough. I didn't even want to play through through three houses multiple times to play alongside Claude or Dimitri or Rhea in that case. Edelgard, it is. Really hope it's still cloudy outside. <clears throat> Tomorrow, when I need to do groceries, can deal with fucking heat. Yep, 
That's the one. I'm sure of it. Always. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. I hate Rhea. I really hate her. <laughs> I have pure hatred for her. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. Hello. Nice meeting you, uh, sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, all right? <laughs> Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house. I don't care. I don't care. You decide. <laughs> oh, this guy. You certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the re What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. She's such a flirt. All of these people making decisions for you, it's enough to make one's head spin. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the academy is given a mission entailing <clears throat> some form of service to the church. The students of the Black Eagle House are now playable. Well, what do you think? I believe there is a very good chance it will work. Perhaps, Lady Edelgard. But is that chance not outweighed by the danger of matters going awry? We have managed to walk the knife's edge so far. But what you are suggesting is open hostility. If they so much as catch wind of our intentions, things will go sideways very quickly. It sounds like they are... Gonna throw in the plot that Edelgard is hiding something. Regardless, early. this is our last opportunity to save her. Frankly, it's a miracle we even have the chance. I thought you once proclaimed not to believe in miracles, Lady Edelgard. And I don't. At least not the kind one has to sit around and wait for. But right now, everyone is exactly where we need them. Her. The bandits, the string pullers, and the perfect instructor with the perfect mission. I'm going to make this miracle happen, and I will do so for our future. Hmm. Then we'd best have a plan in place to finish the job, in case they catch on. I expected you to burn a few bridges, but this plan would be akin to setting half the countryside on fire. Which is exactly why I'm counting on you, Hubert, and why I'm grateful to have you by my side. Welcome to the Black Eagle House. I'm pleased you selected us. Whoa, wait, what? You're a student now? <clears throat> and not only that, you're one of us? That's great! Wait, stop! I don't know this person! Oh, why are there so many new faces? Oh, Bernie. That's what you get for skipping this year's first field excursion, Burn. A lot happened. There was even a bandit attack. Did you really not hear about any of this? Bandits? Ugh! Now I'm extra glad I skipped out. I must say, the church took a bold step in enrolling you. A decision which I, of course, fully support. You helped Edelgard. And we stand to learn quite a bit from one so skilled. I really need some. Yes, I have eagerness to examine the fighting of mercenaries. 
We should be sparring. One versus one. If anyone needs me, I'll be asleep and... Wait, hold on. Do you have a crest? Did Professor Hanneman even check? Oh, he checked all right. And sorry to say I'm certifiably crestless. Strange. You definitely seem the type. But I suppose I'm just imagining it. And now you know the rest of our house. As you already met some of us in camp, I assume you knew what you were getting into. We may not be perfect, but we support each other as best we can. Please try your utmost to get along with everyone. Here approaches Professor Yuritsa. That makes all of us. Remember your mission? We are to eliminate the remaining members of the Iron King's thieves that attacked our camp. The chief, Costas, has already been struck down, and now only a scattering of brigands remain. Even with our limited experience, we should be able to defeat them handily. Good. Prepare yourself. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Profe- Oh. He's gone. So it would seem. Right then. We better get all of our waterfowl in a row. Wait, but I... I need to tell the professor I can't participate? Oh, good work, Bernie. Why didn't you speak up sooner? <laughs> I know what you mean. I never even got the chance to break out my best. Leave it to me, professor. He's a real tough nut, that's for sure. Says just as much as he has to, then makes tracks. And well, the less you say, the greater your mystique. <laughs> True enough. There's not much charm in someone who talks your ear off at every opportunity. Whatever the case, I expect all Black Eagles to participate in this mission. Including you, Bernadetta. You can do this. And I look forward to seeing our mercenary friend here in action. I won't let you down. Two weeks later. We don't get much free roam time. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose Land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe, though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. No, you don't. You there. It's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. About time we saw some action. Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. Why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me. We're leaving. Everyone, follow Professor, me. wait! Well, he must have some idea where the bandits went. Let's hurry after him. Pathetic. Professor Yuritsa, you shouldn't charge ahead like that. It's far too dangerous. Wait, what is all this? <laughs> Bandits! Dead by my hand. Yes, they look quite dead indeed. Are these the miscreants we were meant to deal with? How is one to tell? 
One uncouth ruffian looks much the same as any other. Do you know, Professor? Were you following some manner of lead? No, but it's them. They were trying to escape to that fortress. That fortress? Yes, Caspar, that's what he said. Something you want to share? Nope. It just seems suspicious. You're something else, Caspar. Still, I guess the place does look kind of suspicious. We're near the border of the Kingdom and the Empire, but that is no Imperial outpost. It's not the Kingdoms either, and they're not flying any kind of banner. I'm guessing it's a bandit hideout. Then give us allowance to be storming their base and crushing them under our feet. It might be a little dangerous for us to handle on our own, Petra. Yes, I mean, I agree. We should all, um, go home. But the bandits might be inside, and they must answer for their crimes. It is our noble duty to finish them off before they can bring harm to another soul. This isn't about nobles. It's about doing the right thing, period. And striking down evil is the Caspar way. It's not smart to rush an enemy stronghold when we have no idea what's waiting for us inside. Huh. I hadn't pegged you as the cautious type, but maybe that's what we need. Enough. This is not our decision to make. Professor Eureka? The mission stands. Enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. There are no signs of life. We may be chasing ghosts. Professor! Are you having the ability to speak with ghost spirits? It is just an expression, Petra. It means there is probably no one here. Ah, I am understanding now. You have my thanks. This language has much peculiarity some of the times. Petra! Now with that settled, let us make ready. Make sure you're prepared before we head out. Victory conditions. We get to play with these four characters. Okay. Change deployment. Oh, I can actually change the... That's just in my head. I can't actually... I can't change the deployment location. And I can't change anything else currently. Auto battle. Oh, what the heck is that? That's dope. Battle details. Army status. My roll star. I only have like I don't nobody else is in on the field, right? Okay. I think I kind of start on understand how this works slowly. SQ! So I can't actually change units yet. Okay, okay I think I know how we're gonna do this. Okay. Um, order Edelgard. To me. This way. Right then. Let us go to work. You appear to need assistance. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of forward. March. Route. Follow me. Assign adjutants. Press L to display quick menu.
Uh, with at least support level C, you will have access to Juden's unique support abilities. Item drops, awakening shitties. Do not let the enemies be ganging up on you. You got my back? Leave it to me. Yeah. Can be in these. Oh, money. Swap to Edelgard's while still. Allow me. Do try and keep up. Tell me that. Tell me that. L A. Okay, so that's how we swap fire, magic, and burning status. The Inoyo game is pretty good so far, yeah, I ask you. Item drop weapons. Is bigger. Let's see. You Let us go to work. on you together what with. Split up. All of these dead bodies are enough to numb the senses. Better take this on. In the meantime, we're going to flip over to Hubert for a bit. Light magic and HP absorption. Light magic attacks have a certain percentage chance of restoring HP when they damage enemies. Blah blah blah. Okay, cool. Is that a treasure chest? Hmm. Yes. It seems we will need a key to open it. I was all ready to grab a nice haul from that chest. But now those intruders are all over the place. That bandit appears to be holding the key. You. Dark magic and spellbound status. Dark magic may inflict spellbound status. Spellbound units will move slowly and have reduced defense and resist. Furthermore, guarding will not reduce damage taken when spellbound. Good.
How was your day today, SQ? Oops. A move. Oh, nice. Combined, Musu. Defeated 420 damage taken less than 40%. Okay, should be fine. Take it a little bit slower until we hit the 600. And he beats. Or not. I'd say that takes care of securing the bandit hideout. Unless something else can serve you, Professor. Search the basement. 550. Okay, so. Even if I get kills. Outside? So if, if Ferdinand kills, the kill still counts. That's good to know. Um... Hey, there's a prisoner down here. She looks like an academy student. Mission change. Seize the dungeon and rescue the captive. Okay. Hit 14%. 14% over all characters. That is actually not a. No. That's not what I wanted. Come back. Where's uh, you worth? Shit, that total damage. Are you here 
to rescue me? Lady Edelgard! Monica, how did you... No, my questions can wait. Okay, we did get the kills. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, or Kranya will make us wish we were dead. It's not safe here. I'll we take must over. take the girl and run. Take a Don't let Monica get routed. I need to know what uh, these enemies are. Dark Mage. Um. Oh, you can change Adjutants during that, and you can turn Auto Battle on. Use the guard order f order screen. Yeah, okay. There's not a question of can. My will is there. Whoever they are, they seem to be targeting that student. And it falls upon us to keep her safe, no matter the cost. Rip away now! Still here. Side missions! I hate side missions. <laughs> what eyesores they are. It's fine, we just need to kill these warrior gauge restoration. Thief. That's the last of them. Dark Mage, piss off. Okay, um, swamp. Not a problem. Gordine. Guard Monica. Monica is still doing fine. So we're swapping over to 30 and Hubert. Material. Did I make it in time? Maybe. It's the first mission, actual mission, so I might need to hurry us slightly. We protected Monica. We're not at the end of the mission okay. yet, are we? We should be safe here. I mean, I hope we are at least. All right. Who came in here and trashed my beautiful stronghold? Kronia. Nope. What is she? Kronia. Hi there. I'm Kronia. But you can just call me the lady that's about to murder you. Or, you know, 
Don't. It's her. So be My it. turn. Kill her. If you truly are Kranya, then it is you who will die this day. Good. Then we can proceed as planned. Now, attack! We'll do it together! Wonder how easily we can repeat the uh, story missions. Because the fact that I didn't get an S rank here kind of pees me off. I'm not gonna lie. O5, nice. Keep aiming high. So, if you've got any pretty last words lined up, now would be the time. Not that I'm sorry. guard, I guess. O2. I must get I'm going to pay attention. Yeah. All right, you asked for it. Release the creature we captured. Wild Demon Beast. Okay, yeah, I need to do this mission faster. This is going to be trouble. On your guards, everyone. Hmm. HP and weakness will be displayed at the top of the screen. By four barriers. Barriers can be destroyed using attacks to correspond with the most weakness or by using an awakened attack. Destroying a barrier will inflict armor break on the enemy. While an armor is broken, it will be unable to axe approach it and press X for critical rush. HP gauge each time an armor break is triggered, you can get rare resources. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that seems easy enough. Attacking force. You'll never defeat it alone. All the numbers in the world won't save you. I am here to aid you. This is unlike any beast I have ever encountered. It will be a grueling battle unless we combine our strength. Oh. Its strength is beginning to wane. Press the attack. Let us go. Wild Demon Slayer. They defeated a demonic beast? Impossible! Talus isn't going to like this at all. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay! <sighs> Snake escaped. But still, Monica is safe, and that's what matters. Shame that I didn't get an S rank. MVP. I won't let stop here. So Ferdinand instantly went two levels up for Soldier. Hey, a new power. All right. Carpe Diem learns Combat Arts Wind Sweep. Learn Combat Arts Magic and Abilities. When unit class increases, they can gain new Combat Arts Magics and Abilities. These uh, Acoustians can differ between units, even for those within the same class. And stem from the Convoy menu. What a fascinating power. Authority levels. Now D. Learn the ability Spirited Seas. I need more strength than this. Lens prowess level one, backbone. Some weapons have attributes, attributes convert into effect when the weapon is equipped. There are several different types. Multiple of the same weapon can have different attributes. Battles with a high recommended level will afford you greater chance earning weapon with good attributes. However, some weapons will always have the same attribute. D-Rank Swords, Iron Gauntlet, Iron Tome. Money! Oh, I got 
thought I would never breathe fresh air again for as long as I lived. Monica. I'm not sure what to say except thank you, everyone. Pretty sure she's How gonna did you betray us, in right? Such an awful place, Monica. I heard you went missing in House Ox territory. I did indeed. In fact, I was on the verge of graduation when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. Oh, how silly of me not to introduce myself. I'm Monica Von Ox. I'm the eldest child of Baron Ox, and one of your highness's most loyal subjects. Seeing as you saved my life, I plan to devote that very life back to helping your cause. You've not changed at all, though I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Monica was a black eagle in last year's class. One might say she's part of the old guard. I'm not sure how I feel about you calling people old. Hmm, <laughs> yes. I think I understand. This all began when the knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the Knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? Now that I think on it, not everyone in that fortress was dressed like a common rogue. Perhaps the bandits were mere decoys while some other villain pulled strings behind the scenes. Yeah, there was one real piece of work. Kranya, I think, who managed to escape. I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Her Highness can vouch for this, but my memory is quite strong. Try Remarkable. You never forget a face, even one seen only at a glance. Your Highness, I, um, thank you for the compliment. <clears throat> I'm certain of what I saw. The one who kidnapped me was surely Tomas the Librarian. Tomas? Impossible. But Tomas has been at Garrick Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say... But, Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya... He is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seem preoccupied with her during the battle. Is she a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone, vanished, lost. I remember meeting you, but before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure, pure emotion. emotion. And here I thought I had a tough... Are you worried about me? How adorable. Oh, but I do love that about you. And so, the Archbishop has elected to apprehend Tomas. He has been away from Garrig Mach for days now. During his absence, an investigation of his behavior and personal effects laid bare his hostility to the Church. The Knights have been instructed to await his return and take him in. As quietly as possible, of course. We want him alive. So we might discover the whereabouts of his associates. I'm glad they actually believed me. If they doubted you, you would have known it the moment they clapped you in irons and led you away. 
So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? He does. I've lost track of how many times I've spoken to the man. No surprise, Lynn. You practically live at the library. Um, so what did he look like again? Is he the big, burly one? Burly? Not even close. He's a frail old man with a walking stick. From what I understand, he has been at Garrick Mach for 40 years, at least. It is hard to imagine that he had been plotting evil that whole time. I wonder what led to his transformation. Transformation? Would someone not be noticing if Tomas changed his appearance? He meant a mental transformation, not a physical one. Tomas must have changed his mind about the church at some point. I am excited to have learning of this strange new expression. I must be thanking you. If they were really worried about transformations, you'd expect they would turn their gaze to you. Good to know they're nice enough not to do so. <laughs> so this Tomas person sent the bandits after us? What an awful man. We're lucky to be alive. You're one to talk, Bernadetta. You weren't even there. Yes. You were not having reason to fear for your continued living. Uh, you're right! Everyone, pipe down! Something's happening outside. Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly. I think Tomas is here. I, uh, I'll be right back. Wait, we should discuss this. Never mind. There he is. <laughs> that man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. <laughs> This doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? for mere vermin. You will pay for this. Find him! Right! What he did was just like... Prologue still. Jesus Christ! Well, how long is the prologue? The Shadows of Ardrestia. Upon his return to Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeshifts and flees, and not even the Knights of Ceres's most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Meanwhile, Edelgard seizes upon Monica's rescue as a chance to start down a radically different path than she had originally planned. Things went like clockwork with Monica. Thanks to Professor Yuritsa playing his part so ably. And equally to those arrogant fools for letting their guards down. I doubt we will see such fortune next time. Next time? Oh, don't tell me. The moment has come to take matters into our own hands at the Imperial Capital. This is our chance to finally be rid of them. But, Lady Edelgard, we aren't ready. You'll need an entire host to keep them in check. And we have one. The church. Forgive my impertinence, but that is not the plan. You are the man who once told me to leave no sword in its scabbard. Yes, but one must also take care not to wound themselves when unsheathing it. I am sorry, my lady, but this plan is ill-advised. I cannot support it. And even if I were to ignore common sense and go along, it still throws our future plans into disarray. I thought you devised countermeasures to deal with the church. Use them. But those were meant for... Very well. Oh, what? Are you absolutely certain this is the path? I am 
anything but certain. Yet the bandit attack in the mountains created an opportunity we cannot ignore. And I doubt the appearance of this new mercenary is simple coincidence. Plans can be rewritten, Hubert. Either we're doing this, or we're not. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? I am with you, Lady Edelgard. Then let us walk forward on this path. I Probably should have... for bringing this to you on such short notice, Archbishop. Not at all, Edelgard. But might I ask, what prompted this sudden desire to return to Inbar? We believe one of Tomas's collaborators may have infiltrated the capital. My word! Tomas tended the library at Garrig Lock for decades, with nary a blemish on his record. And then, without warning, he drops his disguise and reveals himself to be a vile sorcerer of terrible ability. Someone at the capital also fits that pattern. A man we know all too well. And who might that be? My uncle, and regent of the Empire, Bokard von Arendal. His lordship briefly defected from the Empire before reappearing several years later. But he returned a changed man, and began seizing power almost immediately. Witnesses claim he wields dark magic in secret, and is able to change his appearance at will. That does sound suspicious, if these witnesses can be believed. I would ask that you do believe them, as the information comes from my own House Vestra. I see. And when you return to the capital, how do you propose to deal with this uncle of yours? Lord Arendelle has the support of a number of influential nobles, including the Prime Minister, Duke Eyre. And while we have allies of our own, it's likely they'll require some convincing. To that end, we wish to bring our friends here at the Academy, their daughters and sons, with us under the supervision of Professor Yuritsa. We hoped you would consider deploying the Knights of Seros, so the Imperial Army doesn't get any strange ideas. You wish to march on the Empire? With the Church's Knights at your back? Your support would give credence to our claims. Additionally, the Knights would keep the populace in check upon our arrival, thereby preventing the city from descending into utter chaos. The more I hear of this, the more credible the threat sounds. It's clear you have thought carefully and planned well. We intend to seize the palace with our own forces, and we'll do our utmost to contain the conflict there. But we still need your help. Please. I have two conditions. The first, when you capture Lord Arundel, he is to be turned over to the knights at once. The second, our knights are not to engage in battle directly. I would have it no other way. Step lightly, Edelgard. Should these claims about Lord Arundel prove false, we will take action accordingly. Make no mistake as to who will be held accountable. Understood. But please know we have nothing to gain from deceiving the church. Very well. Yes. I will summon the knights and let you instruct them as to your plan. May the goddess watch over you all. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shapeshifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shapeshifting? Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His... Don't feel like sharing, hmm? All the same, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. Now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dot. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Ah, Hold on, someone's coming. Something wrong? I must return to the Imperial Capital soon for an important matter. Will you join me? Most... What's this about? I fear I must keep that to myself until we're closer to the capital, but I promise you this. There will be battle, and you will have a chance to shine. Are you sure? I mean, these... Are like the ones Tomas used? Yes, that is a bit disquieting. Still, you've given me no reason to mistrust you. 
You could have rested yourself free of us from the start, but instead you chose to stay here at the monastery. You fought by our side and helped us save Monica. I think I can give you the benefit of the doubt, but here's my true proposal. If you accompany us, there's a good chance you'll learn where your powers come from. Ooh, now that is intriguing. In that case, I accept. Thanks. Monica is now a playable character! Temporarily parted with Verdanens, Bernadetta, Casper, Langtart. Battle War in 4, I should ask around to find out. Okay. Who the fuck are you, Ladif? If you please. Ladislava. I believe this is the first time we've met. My name is Ladislava. I serve as one of Edelgard's personal guards and will be assisting with the entry into the capital. I believe we will be working separately tomorrow, so I trust you will take excellent care of her. Okay. It's you. Never thought a chance to fight for Lady Eldergard would fall into my lap so quickly. But here it is. I won't tolerate those curs who start about the Imperial Palace as if they own the place. No, sir. Uh, sorry about that. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Well, Lady Edelgard is going to explain everything tomorrow, so let's just plan to win the glorious victory in her name, yes? Yes. Yes. And the Empire is held by the six great noble families with the Prime Minister, Aegir at the center, and Lord Arndel as regent. You're familiar with the six nobles, yes? Essence. They are the a apex are aristocrats and exclusive inheritors of important positions such as the Minister of Military Affairs and Domestic Affairs. Okay. Don't let me down. If I may. Give me your pass, I hardly think it's necessary for me to ask after your readiness for battle. We'll be counting on you in Enbar. Be the swords in Lady Eld Eld Edelgard's hands and smite her foes. Also, you should know that victory in tomorrow's battle will hold great significance for yourself as well. Perfect. Good to say that I, again, in a way that makes some kind of sense. I thought that was perfectly clear. The Edelgard has spoken on the matter of your power, yes? <laughs> That's that perhaps you are not understanding the situation means we can all rest a little easier. Storehouse. Bonuses. Oh, I don't even have amiibos. If you have save data from certain games, you can select bonuses, save data bonuses from. Oh. Wait, it said not detected. Oh, did detect something sounds. Unit info. Fine. Let's continue chatting with everyone. How may I help you? Hello there. I am a liaison from I am a liaison from the Knights of Cyrus, sent to assist the assault in the capital. Came here to attend the final planning meeting, and I must say we knights have a good deal to learn from the thorough way Hubert manages intelligence. Giving only what information is necessary at any given time sounds simple enough, but often proves quite difficult in practice. And though few of us understand the full situation, there has still been no major confusion. Regardless, we intend to cooperate fully with both Lady Edelgard and the Imperial Army. Well, 
What's going on? Tread lightly, friend. The woods around here are the hunting grounds of House Percival. And to enter recklessly is forfeit your life. I have a contract. That's the only reason I am here. So basically. So this contract separated from your work at the. Yes. So I heard you really know your way around fight, but come on, that can't be true. I mean, you've got two scrawny little stick arms. You're barely taller than a child, and you've got a baby face without a single scar. Let's see. Yep, you got me. I'll probably trip and stab myself in the stomach before the fight even starts. Sure hope not. Listen, maybe you should just stand behind me, alright? I'll keep you safe. Hmm... You should hear this. Calm, Ferdinand and Langhart, yet she summoned fringe noble as myself. What could Lady Edelgard be thinking? Still, it's a great honor. And it could make for a fine opportunity to increase my family standing with Lady Edelgard. <laughs> Need something? Me? I'm a commander from House Vestra. Now, Svester may not have any territory to speak of, but we don't lack for military might. Though we're bits of a peculiar bunch, ha. <laughs> you can say that again. Let's talk to Monica. Over here. Ah, perfect timing. I want to thank you again. Uh, I meant to earlier, of course, but things have been quite hectic recently. And while Lady Edelgard unfortunately did not tell me every single detail, it sounds like you played a big part in my rescue. So, thank you for that, I mean it. I didn't do that much, Edgar was the one who really saved you. Still, I'm glad you're safe, so if you play some small... If I play a smart part in that, then all the better. Well then, I'm expecting even greater things from you once we reach Enbar. I do not wish to be speaking out of turn, but Lady Edelgard is surely having many enemies. When we arrive in Enbar, I will be f fighting to my utmost. I fight not just for the Empire, but for Bridget as well. They have fates that are intertwined. Not exactly what's going on here, but they hired me to do a job, and that's what I'm gonna do. Especially if everyone is relying on me. <laughs> Your being here is reassuring. Now let us be fighting together and bringing about victory. Well... I put my finger on why, but I have a very strange feeling about all this. Maybe it's because I wasn't expecting to return to the capital this year. Isn't the group we're going with a little unusual too? Ferdy, Casper, Lynn and Byrne won't be joining us. I'm surprised that most of the children of the six great nobles stayed back at Garak Mark. Oh, but of course Hubie had to tag along. Anyway, it really makes you wonder who exactly we'll be fighting. Do you think it's a good thing I came along? I mean, it's true that we want as many good fighters as we can, but when it comes to an actual plan... I'm completely in the dark. Not much to do about it now. We'll definitely be counting on you if it comes to a fight. Did you know there's a whole town under Garrick Mach? A bunch of special characters live there. They call it Abyss. I wonder what those folks are really like. Church leaves them alone though, so they must not have been involved in that business with Tomas. If you will, do you have a moment? We'll be entering Endbar tomorrow, so rest up and restore your strength. That bad, huh? Yes, we're expecting it to be quite the battle, but I look forward to seeing what you can do. Rough. Who are we fighting? No one of particular importance or concern. Still prefer to wait a little while before disclosing that information. In that case, I'll make sure my gear is ready. Thank you. Oh, and perhaps that might be a good time to speak with the others. <laughs> Seeing you calm and calm and collected should help soothe the nerves of any who are anxious in the sh shadow of battle. All right, better get some rest before the 
battle kicks off. What with everyone, it's from quite late. You should rest up for tomorrow. Let's go! What? Solon's been unmasked. Yes, my lord. Rooted right out of the monastery. First Kranya's debacle, and now this. What in the world is going on? I know not, my lord. What are we to do? Keep our composure for a start. Send word to the kingdom and see that Cleobulus is informed. Tell him to remain prudent. If he must go into hiding, so be it. At once, my lord. Yes? Lord Regent, I have urgent tidings to report. You may enter. Forgive the intrusion, my lord, but we just learned the Knights of Seros march on Enbar. Their purpose is unclear, but they will arrive by morning. We've been turning ourselves upside down to make ready. The Knights of Seros? No. Oh. Do you think? There's only one person who could be behind it. How dare she bear her fangs at us? They may already be within the palace walls. Mobilize the guards and search. If anyone so much as looks at you askance, kill them on the spot. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Her Highness has given the signal, Valdemar. Valdemar, Count Berglis. Already? I had thought they were still negotiating. Things are moving rather quickly. The situation must have changed. Our children are still at Garrick Mark, after all. I admire how strong she's become. I just wish we'd had more time to appraise her confidence. Well, if she's caught us with our breeches down, imagine how they feel. I can't wait to see the confused look on those dastards' faces. Oh, dastards? Enjoy every second of this. As if you'd be content to watch. Once the battle starts, you'll be knee-deep in gore with all the rest. Which means, I'll have to make it clear where I stand. We can't afford to tear the Ministry apart by having the pen and sword at odds. These are your instructions. I imagine they may not come as a surprise to many of you. For some time now, Enbar Palace has been infested with the same darkness you saw in Tomas. They have made a puppet of the Emperor and flocked with disloyal subjects to seize control of the Empire. Our objective is to stamp these traitors out, seize the palace, and reclaim the Empire for our own. Um, you realize it's just us, right, Adi? That sounds kind of... impossible. Still, the Empire is having many soldiers. Perhaps you could be changing their minds? Those who can be won over will be. And the realization they are fighting the Imperial Princess ought to dull the other's blades. We have also secured the cooperation of several nobles inside the palace. Very impressive, Your Highness. And very you. I suppose all that remains is to head inside and take care of business. Hang on, sorry. You want to take over the Imperial Palace? You've got to be kidding me. So here we are, ready to deal a masterstroke to the heart of the mighty Empire. Life with you certainly isn't boring. We'll infiltrate the palace through the rear gate, then apprehend Lord Arendelle and Duke Ayer. From there, we'll secure the palace's strategic positions, eliminating all resistance we encounter along the way. If that is our plan, then time cannot be wasted. You can hear them scrambling in the palace from here. Let's not wait for them to find their bearings. Lead the way, Your Highness. Oh. And make sure to keep her safe, Hubert. You know every square inch of that place, after all. Just mind you don't fall prey to your own distractions. These villains have had free run of my house for too long. Today, I take it all back. Nice. Plot uh, thickens, yo. A little bit uh, fast, if you ask me.
Millions yet. Convoy menu, weapons, combat arts, abilities, and classes. It still looks the same. Doesn't change anything specifically, though. We'll see how things go. Go. 13 minutes, 1,000 enemies, damage taken, 40%. It was easy okay, first things first. Um, Stop slipping in the back. The knight's unexpected visit must have thrown the court into disarray. Leave it to me. We best find and apprehend Duke Iyer and Lord Arendelle before they grow wise to our scheme. swapping in! Duke Iyer should be in the throne. Assistance, please. We'll enter through the back way. Oh, right. well. Yes, that way he will never see our coming. But we must be courage. Getting poisoned. When poisoned, you will take damage over the period of time. The guards are on the way are in Duke Iyer's employ. So deal with them as you wish. Main mission successful. Reach the throne room. Surrender, Duke Iyer. What in the... No! Seal the gate now! Is he running? Well, this complicates things. Yeah. We'll have to cut around through the garden. Watch this! Send soldiers to the gardens! I want a sword on every path between myself and those rats. The man is so desperate, he'd... Hey, Edelgard went to level up. Oh, no, flew goal. Gotta keep aiming higher. Doesn't realize he's already lost. Edelgard went up as well. Level three. I must get stronger. So let us break through and prove it to him. There are two basic types of attack. Physical attack, swords, axe, bows, lances, gauntlets. Damage and calculate on your strength and the enemy's defense. Magic tomes. Damage based on magic and enemy resistance. 
of high defense but low resistance. Some tome wielder classes, such as monks and mages, easier time damaging them. Hmm, don't have a key yet. First prestige. I wonder if there's... Yeah, we're still in the prologue, technically, so the fact that it's not too easy for me to actually... level anything up yet, I should take that as normal for the time being, right? I have a feeling that it'll be better once, uh... Leopard von Bengalese. But if you want to leave, it'll have to be through me. Waldemar von Hevering. You must go through me. Although I must seem like nothing in comparison to that bear at the front gates. You would turn on me now. Wait, so those are the nobles you won over? Where'd you find the time to orchestrate that? Now that we have Dugaia pinned down, let us clip his wings for good. Warrior special officiato. Let's kill this guy. Ludwig von Eger. No, you're still outnumbered, and this isn't done until I say it is. Okay. It's finished, Prime Minister. Lay down your arms and surrender peacefully. Do it. 
activate its fire orbs. We should probably do something about that. Working on it. The wind level up. Nice. Any experience? One side. Splendid. Though yours is indeed a power that warrants caution. Watch this. The ambitions of Ludwig von Eyer won't be broken by the likes of you. Come on. guard level up. I must Skip. Get as a man can be. Well done, everyone. That just leaves Lord Arendelle. Yes, but he is the one we need to worry about. Keep moving and remain alert. You I have been captured already. <laughs> My friends didn't even have the grace to buy me some time. Well, I've little interest in facing burden. So it's time for me to deploy my wild card. Feet to mysterious mages bring down the walls of darkness. Find the casters and strike them down so we might dispel this sorcery. Come, Baldemar. You and I can split up and sweep the palace. Like Sam Seal? Idea, Leopold. Let us make clear to these fell warlocks that they are most unwelcome in this place. I'm afraid to consider how we'd stand without those two on our side. We are fighting on the side of Count Burglis. Problem. 
I've got this. Begin. The Sky Spear. I'm ready. Holy shit. Ah, only two percent, that's fine. Actually, swap Dorothea in, but I should be fine. They should still be gaining experience points. No distractions. I'll snap you like twigs. You know, it may benefit us to learn more about this dark magic. Petra sees the library. Lightning magic and shock status. I really care. Good job, Petra. I will gladly handle this. Orders. Orders received. Is it my turn? Thank <laughs> you. 
weapon. Level up. Should dissipate now. That still didn't stop them. It seems they came prepared for any eventuality. Quickly now. We need to reach Lord Arendelle before he slips through our fingers. Any who sided with Duke Ayer or Lord Arendelle and oppressed her highness will receive no quarter. Yes. You finally said something I like. Now let's go stamp them out. Begin. The Sky Spirit. What? I will gladly handle this. How much time has passed in the meantime? 14 minutes. You did get that amount of kills. So that's good. Perfect Dodger. Look at that total damage, though. Arndell is a mage. Wretched vermin. Whether or not she is pleased with you should be of secondary concern. The most important matter is what benefits Lady Edelgard. I admire your finesse. However, you clearly have no concept of how terrifying I can be. Banish the darkness, and the terror will fade as well. You are... No. Sorry. What? Are you starting to understand the situation you're in? We are the darkness itself, and the darkness cannot be slain. <sighs> he escaped. <sighs> Cowardly of him, but we can take comfort in our victory either way. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh. Now what? Huh? Are you kidding me? When mercs celebrate a win, 
We slap our open palms together like that. Victory shake! A commendable victory, Lady Edelgard. Thank you, Hubert. Still, I don't much like how those rats managed to keep skittering away. I imagine that guy's pretty close with Kranya and Tomas, since he shapeshifted and all. Yes. They're all part of a clandestine organization attempting to conquer Fodlan from the shadows. Those who slither in the dark. Huh. Never heard of them. Hmm. So, what is the plan now, your highness? We make ready for my coronation. Hubert, gather everyone in the throne room. At once, your highness. Oh, this is wonderful! Your highness is going to become your majesty! Yes, but first I must speak with the Minister of Domestic Affairs, as well as the other counts. Also, I need you to go to the Knights of Seraphs. I wasn't expecting all of you this soon. What are you doing here? We demand an explanation. You arrested my father, Edelgard. How could you do such a thing without discussing it with me first? I'm probably not getting the finer points here, but you basically defeated both my father and Ferdinand's. Is that right? I wasn't fighting your father, Kaspar. He was aiding me, as was Count Hevry. So, um, what about my father? Did you arrest him? Unfortunately not. Oh, okay. Look, I'm sure you have your reasons for all of this. But maybe you should sit down and talk us all through it. And I intend to. We'll reconvene later and clear everything up then. Monica, join me. We'll talk as we go. Intermediate seal. Ooh, someone gained a few levels. I must hard grow. Hubert was already level three. I won't let my He's the main character, of course he needs to be the MVP. At least until... A uh, certain amount of time passes. Fascinating power. I'll surely put this to good use. I work to grow. I must make the most of this ability. We can Iron Lens, plus two, Gauntlets, Vernon Edge, plus two. Allows you to take the certification exam for an intermediate class. Ooh. Well, I'm not really up for that yet. Hmm. And you say I have two years to complete these preparations. In cooperation with Count Hevering, of course. You and Hubert can finalize the details later. As I won't be choosing a prime minister for some time, I realize this may result in extra work for you. However, that also means more latitude to do things as you see fit. So long as you ensure we're prepared for a five-year war. I will not rest until I discover a solution, Your Highness. So long as our military leaders don't tread on my toes, I shouldn't have too much difficulty. Hmm. For something this big, you better believe we'll have plenty of need for resources. Leave it to a narrow-minded quill carrier like you to call that treading on your toes. In Her Majesty's name, I will decide what is and isn't appropriate regarding your needs also. Anyone would seem narrow-minded when compared to a swollen-headed juggernaut such as yourself. A juggernaut, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. I see someone allowed his sarcasm lessons to lapse. Moving on. Lord Arendelle's followers will doubtless attempt to interfere, so we'll need to keep a close eye on them. Once Count Varley joins us, we can discuss the matter I mentioned further. It seems he's just arrived, Your Majesty. 
Apologies for my tardiness. Gregoire von Varley at the court service. My, but attendance seems light. Where is the Lord Regent and the rest of our noble six? Duke Iyer stands accused of treason and has been dismissed as Prime Minister. He currently awaits judgment in one of our finer dungeons. Lord Arundel is a fugitive from the same crime and will be taken in soon. Dead or alive, it makes no difference. Well, this is a rather shocking turn of events. I had no idea Ludwig was capable of such things. Still, rest assured that I am nothing like him. Indeed. And as for the others, Duke Gert was dispatched to Western Fodland to conduct negotiations. And my father, the late Marquis Vestra, perished in the struggle to capture Duke Gaia, which makes me the new Marquis Vestra and minister of the Imperial household. Ah, you've nothing to fear, Count Farley. Her Majesty intends to bestow a great honor upon you. Majesty? Wait. The title hasn't been formalized just yet, but as it stands, you should view it as a foregone conclusion. More importantly, Count Varley, there is a very important position I wish for you to fill. I intend to rebuild the Southern Church. And who better to be the bishop than you, our Minister of Religious Affairs? I will make my case to the Archbishop personally. Thankfully, Lord Arundel and his men are no longer around to obstruct such a move. You would bestow such a position on me? Uh, make no mistake, it is a great honor, but are you certain? Very. Now then, your first duty in the role will be to oversee my coronation. Do not fail me. Do not fail me, Bishop. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you enjoying your stay at the palace? More than I expected. Though, I do feel a bit out of place here. Understandable. Everyone here either is a noble themselves, or serves... From now on, However, you are on change. fire, Yordi Mum. Yeah, definitely on fire. As Emperor, I plan to end discrimination based on social status. Everyone will have a chance to rise to the top, whether they are born into the aristocracy or not. No more nobles or commoners, huh? That does sound pretty great. I'll be impressed if you can actually pull it off. I'm always oh, on fire. But at the moment, I have a proposition for you. Go on. We've successfully expunged the Prime Minister and the rest of that puppet government. But a certain amount of unrest is unavoidable. Which means I must remain here in the capital. In other words, I can't go back to Garrick Moth and continue my studies. What about the others? Our noble families will be in disarray as we transition to my system and new heads of household take power. Of course, some, like Dorothea, are not as affected as the other students, but all of them have offered to stay and help rather than return to the monastery without us. If you'd be willing to do the same, I'd like to offer you a top post in my new military. Now there's a tantalizing offer. It's not like you have any real obligation to the church. Plus, it sounds like quite the thrill. I'm more of a hired sword than an officer. Which is why you're perfect. Hubert wants to recruit mercenaries such as yourself and form a new unit. I can't put some noble in command of them. That would be ill-advised. But they would listen to a capable fighter such as you. You're Hubert's first and only choice. I don't know if I really have the experience for it, but if you have that much faith in me, I won't let you down. This story, okay, this entire story turns out differently than I anticipated. We're like, we're still in the prologue and we're not doing the entire school shit. Having deposed Lord Arundel and Duke Iyer, Edelgard quickly arranges for her coronation. Her eyes now fixed firmly on the monumental task laid out before her. All the while, the kingdom of Fargus is thrown into unrest over the right of succession. While the Leicester Alliance finds themselves pitted against an invading Olmyran horde. Realizing the troubles of Fodlin will fall squarely on her young student's shoulders, Archbishop Rhea closes the Officer's Academy and permits her charges to return home. Prologue finished.
Sacred Blaze, the struggle blaze. commences. The struggle commences. So far, so good. It is the end of 1181. Two years have passed since the Officer's Academy closed its doors. Having ascended the throne of Adrestia, Edelgard has begun to enact sweeping change. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus now calls Dimitri its king, while Claude reigns over the Leicester Alliance. All three house leaders have found their wings as rulers of a new generation. With the whole of Fodlan still reeling from these rapid changes, Edelgard decides the time has come to usher in a new era. People of Fodlan, the Empire will stand by no longer. Together, we rise against a church that has become steeped in deception and corruption. The church has used their doctrine to deny you power and reshape Fodlin as they see fit. They thrust upon you the illusion of nobility in order to oppress who they choose, and they helped create the kingdom and alliance as a pretext for war. Finally, they teased you with the promise of salvation from pain they themselves inflicted, and did so in the name of their own prophet. Well, I say no more. The Empire has Beetle separated guard. itself from their hypocrisy <laughs> by restoring the Southern Church and nurturing her people's well-being. And today, we purge the world of their evil forever. We will retake Garrig Moth from the Central Church and stamp out any nobles who abet its depravity. By my title as Emperor Edelgard von Bresfeld of Adrestia, I hereby declare war against the false Church of Seros. The past two years have flown by in but the blink of an eye. And while they felt short, they were certainly eventful. The Empire has come far since we removed Arendelle from power. We reformed the government, remedied our diplomatic troubles, and bolstered our military. And most significantly, we gave strength to the Southern Church, creating the perfect wedge against the Church of Seros. A shame our bishop has become the target of relentless censure as a result, why the Central Church even targeted him for assassination. Poor this world is on fire. To a finer man. And then there's the matter of Lord Arundel. What are he and his minions up to now? Slithering in the shadows of Fodlan, much as they have done for centuries. It will not be easy to drag such adept skulkers into the light. Perhaps not. Then for now, let's remain focused on the formidable adversary ahead. Did you call us here, Edelgard? It's good to see so many familiar faces. I did, and thank you for coming. Everyone's looking good. This may be the first time I've seen all of you in the same room since the Officers' Academy closed. Likely, yes. We have all been rather busy marching down the separate paths. Happened to Bernie's hair. Or most of us have, anyway. Others, such as myself, managed to eschew work in favor of a more leisurely existence. Hey! I was working hard at staying in my room, but still. Father's been dreadfully busy, so he's never home. Which has been pretty nice, actually. I was returning home to Bridget. I finished my task, and now I have been returned here. Well enough. Now, as you know, the Empire will launch its attack on Garrig Mach in the coming days. Emperor Edelgard will lead the invasion personally, 
He wishes for those present to form the backbone of her army. And as it has been some time since Adrespia had an army under the direct command of the Emperor, I fear we currently lack for officers. I trust each of you, and can think of no candidates better suited for the job. Will you do this for me? So you've got other plans for my father's army, I take it? Well then count me in. I'm ready to go whenever. I would have been happy with the life serving you here in the capital. But if war is coming, I want to see it through myself. I'll go wherever you go, your majesty. I'm always ready. Plus, it's good to know I haven't been training this hard for nothing. I've high hopes for you, and trust you will prove the wisdom of my decision. Just you wait. I'm gonna hurdle clean over those high hopes and show you what I can really do. He's certain to save some of your hopes for me, because I most assuredly have what it takes to succeed. And with that... New Empire Army, move out! Ferdinand? Kindly leave the commanding, and naming, to me. <laughs> Refile gem owner. I wonder if we finally get some freedom. Your tent is rather nice, isn't it? I suppose it pays to be a commander. You said things are totally different here compared to the small-time outfits I used to run with. <laughs> now I've got my own space where I can kick back and keep all my stuff in order. This means they expect a lot from you, more than your title implies, I would imagine. Personal quarters. Personal quarters located in the upper left of the base camp minimap. Press A near desk to change appearance and view documents. Ooh. That reminds me. This camp is something else. Did you see how many merchants we've got? How tiresome. You finished sightseeing yet? I believe I heard your employer calling for you. Well, she's got away. Malu Manuela actually joined us. Okay. Yuritsa, well, that we should have expected. Ferdinand rejoined, Bernadetta rejoined, Casper rejoined, Lintard rejoined. No words now available. The records hall has been unlocked in the extra menu. Title screen. Got five interme intermediate seals. Whole feather, which is a gift everyone would appreciate. Achievements. Support info. Units information. Swordsmaster, Brutal Seventh, Mercenary, Trickstar. Ooh. We're already on the inter intermediate class, that's actually kind of sight. Sick. How is it with everyone else? You're already an armored lord, Edelgard. Fortress Knight. Fighter is maxed. Wait, she maxed out her fighter? Well, that's good for me to know. Hubert is still a monk. That's fine. Still a soldier. 
Lintard still a monk. Caspar is going for Wyvern Lord. Bernadette is a fighter? Bernadette doesn't... Oh yeah, Archer route. No, that makes sense. Dorothea is a monk. Going Mage, Warlock path. Petra, Fighter into Thief, into Assassin, into Trickster. Manuela is our priest, which is nice. Grimory, Risa is a Palvalier and becomes a Death Knight. Okay. Spend Rion. Purchase item. I don't have any Rion. Rion points, sadly. The still incurring stats. And life. Cool. Change appearance. Change your unit's appearance by selecting the change appearance option in your personal quarters. Camp appearance. Here you can change your unit's appearance in camp. Battle pair and standard issue deploy units class based attire. Some units exclusive class feature personalized attire. Standard issue unique is class based. Always unique, unique. Unique, 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 unique. Hey. Arval, <laughs> such a human enterprise. In that sense, we are very much the same as those on the other side. But we cannot coexist, so we are determined to kill each other. I suppose that's the nature of this beast. What? You think it's strange to see me here after two years? Well, I was once an Imperial commander. Hmm. I figured as much. I'm fighting for the Emperor all this time, just like you did at the Battle of Enbar, yes. right? Yes. Kinda wanna try and get the good commands to work. I've been <clears throat> having many duties in my last two years away from... But they all finished now, which means I am able to take part in the fighting. I am believing that this battle will lead to peace and prospering in Bridget. Get to here, I'll be counting on you, Petra. You should hear this. Imperial Soldier, I've always thought of myself as devo a devout believer. So when I heard we were attacking Garak Mach, I couldn't help but take be taken aback. I learned the Central Church corruption and how Her Majesty revived the Southern Church to correct it. Well, let's just say I'm glad I was born in the Empire. Imperial Territories of Adrestia, Book 1. Ad the Dictionary of Information on each region within the Eder Star Empire it contains no confidential information. It can be viewed and checked out freely. And a Hersfigol... I don't think I really care. You investigate certain locations in camp. You can acquire all sorts of documents. Check the obtained documents from your personal quarters in the upper... the upper shit stain of the map. Hello, my magey friend. Oh, I can dash, did not know that. What can I do for you? Oh, if it isn't our esteemed general. If there's anything at all you require, please do not hesitate to inform me. For to be traveling from one place to another from this point, hence, I suspect our cooperation will be essential. Okay. 
Okay. Listen to this. Church has mobilized everyone they can to defend Garak Mach. Even some of those folks from the Abyss, I think it's called, you know, the place under the monastery. I hear the church doesn't really care for them, but I suppose any fort in a storm and all that. Still, if you see some of them on the battlefield, they might be worth recruiting. Speaking of, I'll report on the Abyss if you want to take a look. It's just over there. Some kind of passage. This will require further investigation. It has so come to light that several years now, houses down here has seen has taken in students who could not remain in the academy. The houses known as the Ashen Wolves. Oh, nice. Most of them are former academy students, but as they lack any sort of proper professor, so-called house is most reminiscent of an association of dropouts. Residents frequently mention four students in particular. Their names are Yuri, Constance, Happy, and Balthus, the church. Old report of some kind. Okay, so those guys were part of the DLC that I've never played, actually, of the original game. No ward is available. I beg your pardon. Good day. I hope you're doing well, as I am this day. <laughs> Seems you and I have both been appointed as generals during our last few we years, hmm? succeed. Well, let's each fight to our utmost so we do not dishonor our majesty. Good day. <laughs> we will I did not succeed. want to talk to you, I want to talk to... Hello, my friend! My my, it's been quite some time. Like Manuela, I was called here by Edelgard, but that said, I have been tasked with protecting the Great Bridge of Mirrodin along with Ladislava. As such, I won't be going to Garrick Mach, so I hope you take care of things there. Nothing to report. Keep up the good work, Commander. Nothing to report anyway. today. You remember me? I used to guard the gate back at Garrick Mach. Sure, I remember you, but uh, why are you actually, here? Well, I was actually born in the Empire, but I ran away from home and I joined up with the church when I was pretty young. Just the other day, I got a letter from my parents for the first time in the year. They told me to hurry back to the Empire, and when I did, I found all of this. I tell you, fighting people from the church is going to be a hard pill to swallow. Still, I'm fortunate that I didn't end up separated from my family forever. You, huh? Haha, you've always got the same cloudy look on your face, don't you? Well, say we go blow off some steam at a tavern till what we're up. Think? Bet it could make it easier for everyone to soldier on if you did that. He was gonna poison me, I bet. Don't trust a hoe. Bernie! What am I even doing here? Just want to stay cooped up in the manor, especially now that father's gone. But then I was talking to Edelgard, and boom, I got some stupid urge to fight, and here I am. Yeah, I Sometimes know. your mouth agrees to something before your brain can weigh in. Just try to get out there and do your best, okay? Ugh, Bernie! Give me your stupid mouth. Oh, this is a black day indeed. They put me right on the front lines. Just got married and had a kid, so my little one doesn't even recognize my face yet. Actually, let's just pretend you didn't hear that. It's bad luck to be talking about that stuff before we go off to war. You're right. Imperial soldier. All right, that's taken care of. What's what next? It? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you need something? As you can see, I'm pretty busy yes. at the moment. See, my brother, brother Rundolf, is part of this army, so I have to do my job perfectly for his sake. Rundolf. As it happens. Just between you and I, I have had my share of worries about these past two years. As you know, my father found himself in his si situation due to Edelgard. Now, uh, well, things are what they are, and I will work tirelessly to achieve greatness. Right on. 
to do the same, so let's do this thing together. Right. Yes, I feel you have a great deal of promise, so let us go forth as one. That reminds me. I was born to a noble family in the kingdom, but I never could fit in with the teachings of Seros. But when I was a mercenary in the Empire, the minister of the Imperial household hired me on. And now I am commander, you see before you. Judging from the look on your face, you don't know who that is. Well, it's Lord Hubert. QB. Well, hi. If you're ever injured, let me know and I'll see you healed up in no time. Oh, and I can take care of wounds of the heart as well as wounds of the body. Emotional injuries can be even worse than physical ones during times of war. It's reassuring to have you and your infirmary here. This is the infirmary, right? It is. After closure of the officer's academy, Edelgard got in touch and asked me to run it. And although it does put me in the opposition of Garrick Mach, I simply can't turn that woman down. Really should learn to say no sometimes. Infirmary. Nah, that's fine. Don't have to say no all the time. Did you need something? Apparently it is the first time in 300 years that an army of this size has been mobilized in Flotland. The Dagdan army attacked the Empire from without... And then the Almerians attacked the Alliance. Quite a lot happened, not that I saw it of course. Well, we do know someone who saw it. I'm shooting. Itching for a fight. I would see the Archbishop's right-hand man, Sethet or Thunder, Catherine at Gergmach. Well? They've got tons of other strong fighters, too. We can't wait to take them all on. How about you? Right on. Oh, you know it. The more foes I take out, the bigger my name gets. Yeah, well, look sharp, because I'm keeping score. Of course he is. Oh. It's annoying when you don't report in once you finish the task, Lightheart. Very annoying. Furthermore, I have any number of things I need from you whenever you're not busy. Which is pretty much yeah. always. But I am busy. Busy resting. Now please leave oh. me be. But Her Majesty asked me to put you to work. That reminds me. Her, I saw you sleeping the day away. The day away just a little while ago, Lined Hearts. Malika's right, it's time to pull your weight. It's on to you. You two will never understand me. I mean, it's not really my point now, is it? I'm getting worried. I've talked a lot with AD. So I long imagined what it might be like when this day finally came. <laughs> But now that it's here, I'm worried. Our target is Garrick Mach. Which means we're likely to encounter a lot of people we know. Let's see. Yeah, it's hard to fight people you know. You sure you want to take no part? Way. Came here to fight, and that's what I'm going to do. Say. Randolph. Who Greetings, you are your yes, I am Randolph von Berglis. Though we are not related by blood, I am nonetheless Caspar's uncle. Right. I hear you know your way around the battlefields. I look forward to seeing what you, well, what we can both do in service to the Grand Empire. May I have a word? As you know, we are already in Alacent, in Lacenter's Alliance territory. Lord Atron Plechton, whose territory this is, is not a man known for his reliability. Really? However, as long as Count. Gloucester, who borders to the north, has announced his obedience to the Empire. We should to no problems, assuming we are not routed at Garkmoth, that is. Oh, talk about pessimism! Right. The battle has begun at last. Our struggle to the death against the Central Church. Pray your work these past two years will prove helpful Let to our cause. Think. First, we mean to conquer the territory of the Alliance of Viscount of Burgundy. He is minor lord east of Garrick Mach, who is strongly influenced by the church. Stop the gist. 
Sorry, we're still figuring out our strategy. You should go and make sure you're fully prepared. Should grab your rewards. The rewards are ready to give out based on how many achievements you rack up. So get out there and start doing stuff. I like rewards. Fruit of life. That's a good result. Empire Nobles. One. Too much to read. Do you have a moment? Welcome back, Yordi. Let me apprise you of our plans going forward. What do you think? Take a look at this map. Troops are preparing to advance from camp, which is located here. Destination is Garg Mog, over here. Now the intervening noble territories have ties. You see? Fuck my life. The intervening noble territories have ties to the church. They will most likely try to stop us. We'll have to route these lands in succession as we make our way to Garg Mog. Do not let our guard down with any of our opponents. Be sure to prepare as thoroughly as possible. If you looked around camp yet, feel free to make use of the training grounds and the marketplace. I have made arrangements so that you can improve your weapon and prepare for battle. Ooh. Quick travel within camp. Training instructor. Here you can train your mind and body and gain proficiency in new classes. It never hurts to be prepared. I'm sure you're seeing. I'll be seeing you often. Use training grounds to improve your units. Make sh make use of the following options: train, increase class level, level up slash re reset races or resets units level. Bar class. Obtain certification for a new class mock battle. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Assigned to the same training, Slog will train as a pair and gain support points since the pair will learn from each other if one unit's weapon level is higher, the other unit will earn an experience boost. Birds and Lint and Dorothea and Monica. Select a training regiment to adjust. Until units master class or you run out of trading points. Not sure. Hey, a new power. A new power is I must make the most. There must be more to this. Only thorns left on this. One step at Time to work you into 
our class. Yubi, go for mage. One cannot achieve victory without. Yeah. Petra can go thief. A new challenge. My style will change. Manuela can actually now also go for mage, but she's a priest. So I'll keep that like that for the time being. Um There must be Training can be the difference between victory oh. and defeat. Oops. Don't want to do a mock battle. I don't really give a shit. Fire class. Lind wants to go for priest, which is fine. I wish this was for some. Train. Time to work you into shape. Goal to level up your allies, however, you cannot exceed the level of your current highest level unit. You can also reset a unit to level 1. Stats that went up due to leveling up will return to their level 1 values, while the stats that went up due to using items to surfing team those in Greece. Check out the camp facilities. Armorer! Welcome to Kander for wondrous weapons and thingies. E. Weak. Sell useless things. Convoy 
Yordi is running with this, that's fine. Edelgard already using her crest weapon, which is good. Heroes relics or relics are special weapons when hoops as relics corresponding. Crest wields this combination of looks powerful combat arts and magic. Most other effects, however, if a unit without a crest wields a relic, they will suffer damage during battle. <laughs> While hero relics are powerful, their true strength is not yet drawn out in their initial state. You can unleash their effect at the blacksmith. Okay. Few words. Do we have something better? Sacred weapons. Weapons correspond to crest wheels. All healing effects will be boosted. Nice. Okay, yeah, it's blacksmith. They're giving Hubert a bit stronger tome. Do you have new abilities yet? It's fine for now. Iron Lands. Got plenty of goods that will surely come in handy. I look forward to doing business with you, the item shop. I carry a little of everything here. Intermediate seal, floral ornament. This is for gifting. Hope to see you again soon. It's bare necessities at least. Time to get to work. Do the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. So doing out our marching orders, give me a shout if you want to deploy for battle. Deploying for battle, speak of the strategist to head out for your next battle. You can also deploy at camp gates by pressing ZR. Which battlefield are you headed to? From the war map, you can select battlefield to deploy on blue regions already captured, red regions available to be captured. Winning a battle will capture that region and make any re nearby regions accessible as well. You can also deploy again into territories that have already captured from the war map. Each chapter contains multiple, multiple to battles, main quests and side quests, the final battle of the chapter, other battles along the way. Okay, that's good. Quests will display differently on the war map. Yeah, this is a side mission, this side, this is a main mission, most likely. No, you might as well just go and wreck a bit, right? Or is... am I just not... can select this. Uh, probably need to start here. Enemy level 16. Now let's see if we chewed off too much. Victory conditions. Flight routes. Sometimes there will be flight routes over cliffs. Passable terrain. Flight routes will be initiated on the map with a blah blah blah. Okay. Um, player 2 can join. How oh, nice. 7 minutes. Uh, 
Uh, we don't really have anything else on us. Hubert seems to be doing well there. Dorothea as well. And I, over here, I'm doing well. Okay, I'll just... Go in. Let's earn our keep. The battle begins. Okay. Um Here I Edel guards. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. You birds. Let us go to work. <laughs> Dorothea stays put. And I'm gonna go charge in for the time being. Wipe out the enemy re before the enemy reinforcements arrive. You must be more careful. There's nothing we can do for you once you're dead. Losing units. It's about to say. If I may. Shall we? Tell me what to do. You lend a hand, would you? Attack the monk while they recruit the Mirrodin. Side mission success, nice. How's everyone else doing? Though yours is indeed a power that works. Back. 
Vou segurar tudo isso mais uma. Warning, mission time limit exceeding. Button was it again? Probably best not to overdo it. Dorothea in trouble, money. Uh Bookmark saves. When you create a bookmark save during your battle, you'll be able to restart the battle from that point. You can create bookmark saves from calls menu. Right, delete. In casual mode, after creating bookmark save, you can continue the battle. Bookmark will not be deleted. Okay, tutorials. Okay, that's not going as I had envisioned. But that's fine. Here I go. No mistakes. I'll provide. Here goes. No use. 
Someone went to level up. Yeah, not bad. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. I'll take over. Take a breath. Sorry, we weren't strong enough. What's next? I'll take over. Every time I grow stronger, I'm thrown into another battle. It's a vicious. You provide a shining example for all. Now die! We'll make good use of this. Order, order. Is that all we've got? I'll take over. More enemies are gonna arrive if I don't finish this soon. Main mission successful. Time to make a name for ourselves. Victory conditions changed. Taken 41. Edelgard is now level 7. Dorothea level 7. Hubert's almost level 7. MVP. Of course, I am the MVP. Okay, flow goal is now master. True awakening. Only thorns left on this rose. Various classes. You may be able to use some of the skills, combat arts and magics you've learned in other classes, while well, once you've mastered a class, a class try out different combinations. Iron Sword. Ten strategy resources. The Imperial Army has invaded Burgundy and will reach Garrick Mark within the month. With no way to stop their advance, we must ready ourselves for siege. <laughs> the smoke of the night's away last month, after the Western Church occupied one of our sacred sites. The forces that remain are thin at Lame. best. How are we to hold the monastery with such short-handed numbers? It is possible the Empire orchestrated that entire incident to bleed off our strength. 
at how thoroughly information about it was buried, and how quickly the Empire invaded after declaring war. It all feels carefully calculated. I would not put it past them. If they bring war to our doorstep, they will want us on the worst footing possible. If the tides turn against us, we may have to abandon Garrett Mark. Never! Edelgard is already using the Southern Church to erode our legitimacy. And now she has the gall to try and remove us by force? There can be no mercy for tyrants. So help me, I would like to put her entire army to the sword myself. Is it truly too late to prevent bloodshed, Lady Rhea? Edelgard must have her reasons for doing this. If so, they elude me. The woman seems to consider our church's very existence an abomination. Yet she has gone to the trouble of reviving the Southern Church, which implies she does not mean to destroy the faith outright. Perhaps Garrick Mark is the true prize she seeks. Or worse, this entire invasion could merely be a precursor to conquering all of Fulvin. Hmm. Her purpose matters not. Our charge is to defend the monastery at all costs. I took an oath. I swore I would never again suffer the boots of thieves to sully this land. Rhea. It is a low form of comedy we find ourselves engaged in this day. To think the descendants of their empire will be the first to invade Garrick Mok. All the more reason to prevent it. I care not if we shared blood countless generations ago. I will not permit anyone to defile Mother's resting place. Surveying spots. Complete side quest to unlock surveying spots in that region. Surveying them to receive all kinds of rewards. Types of surveying spots then reward simply visiting spot grants. Rewards you must pay to receive the rewards you choose. Determine the reward. Token of my gratitude. <laughs> Reports on the abyss. Do you have a moment? Enough hands to help with the army's less urgent we'll task. We're asking around for volunteers, but I would greatly appreciate it if you pitched in as well. Visit Chore Master when you have want to volunteer. Talk to Ada Bartz. Edelgard shall one day once again be my wife. Looking for volunteers to help around the camp. We all need to chip in to make life here pleasant as possible. Yo, what does it mean when I see these paintings saying Dutch style? I have no idea. Care to make yourself useful? I 
for the Enable Guards. I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the... You are always one step ahead of me, but today is my time to shine. Go easy on yourself, Ferdinand. You've nothing more to prove to me. Nice. Bonds among the three of you grown slightly stronger. Finished everything, thanks so much. Bet you're tired of all work. Why not take a break at the oh. mess hall? Company you, I'm feeling rather peckish myself. Been a mercenary for quite some time, correct? Do you have any practical preference when it comes to make my own food? What? Fascinating. I absolutely must try one of your culinary creations. Not the army has ingredients you can use. Listen, I still have two... Um, kitchen master. Stays in effect until the end of the current chapter. Stack with other meal effects. You can select two meal companions. Their more on support points on increase. Your allies have their own preference when it comes to food. the true enemy. Jared's, um... Jared's, um... Do Hugh Birds and Edelgard. Culinary Commander one. Great. Solid. Solid, solid. We must look as if we are conspiring, huddled together like this. Likely due to your reputation, which I'd prefer not to rub off on me. <laughs> nice. Between allies and raise your support level. When a support level conversation is available, viewing it will raise the support level of those units. A higher support level will lead to beneficial effects when assigning that unit to your adjutant. The adjutant's attack gauge will feel quicker and the adjutant guard gauge will feel quicker. Partner specials will be more powerful. Shared up to abilities level 1, B to 2 and 3. Activity points. Spending time with your allies consumes activity points. Activity points are automatically refilled to the max at the start of a new chapter. You may also gain activity points by capturing regions and searching survey spots on the war map. Impressive. I'm astounded you cooked this extraordinary meal with those ingredients. Uh, and using such a humble tools. It would be a lovely gesture if you cooked for the others as well. Exchanging gifts with trusted friends is quite wonderful, wouldn't you not agree? I recall you acquire some trinkets on the battlefield. Perhaps you could give them to someone as a gift. Should give something to Edelgard. Points to strengthen bonds between allies will trigger support conversations. Viewing support conversation will raise support level. Units involved, you can view support conversation by selecting the appropriate command after talking to an ally. Or by selecting support info. New support conversation available. Support. Oh. At least it continues growing, even though you got uh, conversation. You know, I don't believe I ever asked your feelings about this war. 
On the surface, it must seem as though we took Bodlin's fragile piece in our hand and shattered it into a thousand pieces. What, is it deep conversation time now? Where'd that come from? It's merely that we've never discussed the matter, and you are in a fairly unique position amidst this all. I thought you might be able to provide some perspective on how an outsider views the actions Adrestia has taken. I don't know. Don't think I really feel too strongly one way or the other. You have nothing to say. Nothing at all? That's how it goes when you're a merc. War, peace, it doesn't matter. My job's the same either way. It's just money in, blade out. All there is to it. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. It's like you said, I'm in a unique position here. Meaning you would have answered differently were you not a mercenary. Uh, yeah. If I was a farmer, for example, I'd be hounding you day and night to end the war. Sure, you say you're gonna bring this bright and beautiful future, but am I really gonna suffer for years, maybe even decades, waiting for it? The stuff you're doing now, enlisting my farmhands, trampling my fields, destroying my crops, just doesn't make it worth the wait. But you know the toll it's taking on your people, yet you choose to press on with the war anyway. So you've gotta have a good reason, right? Yes, of course. You certainly don't mince words. Is it the years of mercenary work that made you this way, or have you always been like this? Pretty sure it's who I am. It was just me and my mom growing up, you see. We lived in a village, but for whatever reason, she liked to keep to herself. So, I guess it rubbed off on me. I learned pretty quick not to get attached. Is that so? I would be interested to hear more. Trust me, it's not as interesting as it sounds. Who says it has to be? Interesting or not, I'll have you tell me one of these days. If you say so, just promise not to freak out when you realize how boring I am, okay? Do I seem like the type of person to freak out about such a thing? <sighs> Perhaps don't answer that. Perhaps don't answer that. It's a good result. I appreciate this. Expert mood maker. That's very kind of you. head to the next battle soon. Care to make yourself useful? Oh, already done that. Remember now how this works. Twenty two hours. I will finish it summarily. I'll do what I can. Perfect. Bonds among the three of you grew significantly stronger. You were the Lionheart support points increased significantly. See if the book of sheet music you obtained to renown. We all must do our fair share. New support conversation available. With both Lindart and Hubert. Oh, this might be one between Hubert and Lindart. Well, there's a face I'm not used to seeing on the training grounds. I have merely come to examine the equipment. I hear whispers that it is in quite the state. Further, my being here should come as no surprise. Her Majesty and I train in these grounds often. I 
never would have guessed. Can't say I'm not jealous, though. Shall I put in a request with Her Majesty on your behalf? I'm quite certain she'd join you. Nah, that's all right. Maybe she'd throw me a bone from time to time, but that wouldn't make us training buddies the way you two apparently are. Ah. Well, it is true this has been a long-running custom of ours. In any case, if you do decide I am, to uh, either myself or Her Majesty, you only need a sleepy boy. A mercenary with no backing such as yourself has much to gain by earning Lady Edelgard's favor. Of course, we would not be without benefit. Your rise in standing would paint an ideal picture for our people. How do you mean? Many commoners crave progress. A path upward in life. And your example would prove that path exists. The common folk would never expect to see their emperor train alongside someone of your dubious origins. At least not outside the pages of a fairy tale. Dubious origins? <laughs> oh, a little harsh, don't you think? Still, doesn't sound too bad if I can use that to help lift people up. On the other hand, your presence would also cause great turmoil amongst the elites of our society. They may even despise you. A symbol of the ungrateful commoner, granted privilege well beyond their station. <laughs> but, hey, Dorothea's a commoner too. Why don't they hate her? Dorothea is a famed former songstress, well esteemed in the upper echelons of society. Your oh, Hubie. is vastly different. Right. Well, no point worrying about it if it's gonna happen no matter what. Precisely. Things may yet change in the years ahead. But for now, all we can do is live with it. So, coddling the elites means the commoners end up oppressed, while hoisting commoners up only agitates the elites. Glad I'm not the one who has to rule the Empire. This whole thing sounds like a total mess. <laughs> a mess, indeed. Another clear victory for the Empire in battle. You can surely guess who stole the show yet again. Our mercenary friend? Always a force upon the battlefield, that one. Their approach on the battlefield is exceptional. Yet their curious power has also proved quite the boon. It is deeply fascinating, isn't it? Something beyond the principles of magic, and yet different from the power of crests. I might go so milk far again. as to see it veers close to the realm of dark magic. But I fear that's beyond my expertise. I am possessed of some small knowledge, yet still fail to understand the nature of that power. Then at present we can do nothing but throw our hands to the sky. And with that, I must be off. Oh? I thought you would be more curious about our mercenary ally. Would you truly raise the white flag merely because the matter lies outside your usual ken? What are you playing at, Hubert? If you want me to investigate a specimen, go ahead. Hook it and reel it in. Aha, but you are the better angler of the two of us. Furthermore, my method of hooking would complicate our relationship with so valued an ally. An inducement from your lips would ensure things proceed more smoothly. Well, this is becoming a hassle. Can't you push yourself to learn some new hooking strategies? Like, I don't know, one befitting the elegance of a true nobleman? Involving fancy tea, perhaps? A positively hair-raising notion. Please, do not speak it aloud again. 
Then maybe get in their face and pick a fight with them. You two could end up becoming fast friends. So you wish me to shout myself hoarse and swing my fists about like a common ruffian? I shall pretend I did not hear that suggestion. No. Then the only option left is aggressive persuasion. Driven home at the point of an axe, let's say. Lin Hart, who in the world are you talking about right now? I should think there is no one quite so barbarous in our own army. Hmm? Oh, I didn't have anyone particular in mind. I was just brainstorming new methods to ensnare our illustrious mercenary friend. Why? Did they remind you of acquaintances of ours? <sighs> in any event, let us leave this sleeping dog where it lies. I do not dislike conversing with you, but we seem to procure results of little benefit when we do. And with that, I have matters to attend to and must be off. Farewell. Until next time, Hubert. Till next time, Hubert. So when Hubert. can I expect you to have reeled in our mercenary friend? I suspect we'd make headway on the research if we engaged in it together. I'm afraid I've not the time to play along with your capricious whims, Linhart. I will, of course, be cheering you on with some enthusiasm from the shadows as you hook the subject yourself. Funny. Units ten seven six 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 seven. Which battlefield are you headed to? Can we redo battles? I think we can. Let's see, enemy level sixteen, enemy level seventeen. Activity points recovered. Yaddy yaddy. I think we really need to do some. Uh, <clears throat> Rebattling here. Fight starts now. None. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're up against. Right then. Let us. I will. Leave this one to me. That's my. Will stand between us and the bright new future I envision. I will ensure that what needs to be done is done. <laughs>
Okay. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> Leave this one to me. That's knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. See? I'm not so bad. <laughs> Down. I can't take my eyes off you when you fight. Oh, ho, not so flirty, Dorothea. Someone went to level up. UB went to level up. Good. Not a problem. I've got this. Right then. Let us go to work. I will see my duty to leave this one to me. That's my You'll make this fun for me. We'll have these defenses crippled in short order. There are avenues that yet remain open to us. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. If I may. I'll take over. Take a breather. It's a level on Flugel. Yeah.
Boom. Even now, the road ahead stretches past the horizon. This battle was little more than a way station. Nice. We got a mace. Local level 12. Fatal Guard level 8. Dorothy and Hubert still the same. MVP, obviously me. Imagine this will serve me well. Iron Toad plus three. this no it doesn't change it does change the max level but nothing else I guess we just need to grind up a little bit here At least, when it comes to the main boy, he needs to be leveled up a little bit. It's level 16, the rest can be leveled up by money. Convoy. Guard do something here as I well. Go. No mistake. Here I go. Here I go. No, they must. Everyone to 16 and we should be fine for the time being. to need assist here goes i could do with some reinforcements time to make a name for ourselves 
themselves. We cannot allow the battle to continue trending this way. This should do it. I can't let it end like this. Success was to be expected. Jesus. Dorothy I almost get, got killed there. Stand back. You shall pay. Leave this one to me. Looks like Are they set you here. One step closer to victory. Edel God, you are slacking. Kill this motherfucker here. Level 13. Yeah, not bad. I shall grant you the privilege of my aid. Go to work. <laughs> I don't know where everyone is, SQ. Everyone is dead. Oh my, one more. Shindaryu. Make good use of this.
Doo 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 to do. I still have a. Seems like Hubert wants to level up. Probably best not to overdo it. Magnet. Peace awaits us. I know it does. Get a card level nine. Nice. For the damage taken thirty three percent. I won't MVP as always. Armored Lords rank up. Who knew this? Okay. Turn to camp. Training instructor. Time to work you into shape. Middle guard level fourteen. For the fit. You were at level twelve. My protect. So level twelve. Great thing. Should be able to level up everyone to level twelve. Level twelve should be good enough to do a level seventeen battle. At least I hope. Take it back. We're nowhere near. Everyone's level 12. But the good thing is we can combine some of the people with each other. If they aren't high enough level yet. I forgot I had these billions. Hope to see you again soon. Welcome. Let's see, units, ports, camp, convoy, is all 20. Durability is less though. I will sell that sword. Welcome. Soon. 
Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Strength and... Death grows distant. Okay, this should be a fairly good enough team to go into the next battle with. Which battlefield are you headed to? Training point recovered. Nice. See what the team looks like right now. Okay, let's see. We got Jordi, Hubert, Edelgard, and Dorothea. Differences strong. Okay, I think I'm gonna split this up in two again. The fight starts now. Our mission is to okay, press start. Right then. Let you appear to me. Leave this one to me. Looks like you could use some help. Here I go. No mistakes. They must provide aid. We can ill afford influence. We're at a disadvantage here, back. so don't get reckless. Oh, very well. I don't know how long I can hold out. Help me, please. Minds. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin. It worked. Success was to be expected. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Take a breather. Very well. Support the mates and their allies to the first ballista station. Here I go. No mistakes. 
Place belongs to us now. Let me have a look. Stand back. I'll take over. Good enough to kill it. Yeah. Okay, um no mistakes. They must look if I may. Stand your ground. Any final words? Grab this chest. Retreat. Take a breather. Got a stat boosting item. Nice. Doing fine. Successful. That Noise. takes care of the rescue, and not a moment too soon. Stage complete. Enemies defeated. Oops. The MVP. Edelgard. Here you swing. Iron Tome plus four. Verona Smithing Stones. Sport levels up. Train point recovers. I don't want to go back to camp yet. 
Might I borrow you? To recall gathering materials in the last battle, we would like you to put them Don't to good use. I believe down. they can serve further expense facilities in this camp. Ask can assist you if you wish to expand facility. Okay. Cool. Facilities Master. You can exchange materials to expand the facilities here. I hope to see you make many improvements so we're fully prepared for battle. Obtain the resource necessary to expand facilities by surveying the war map. Specific facilities by talking to that facility manager. To assist with any matters regarding the facilities. It's still training dummy. Well, sure make we're ready for whatever our next battle is going to be. True. Well, true and not true, I guess. Am I gonna go watch these new... No, there weren't any new ones. I thought there were new ones. Oh well. Training instructor, train! Expand facility. Oh, I can now expand from over here as well. Yeah, that's what they said, Jordi. Ra ra ooh la la ha. Yeah, we just need to swap Jordi out for someone else. What are the currently ones? Dorothea, Idol. Okay, we're swapping for Ferdy. And. Middle guard and what? Here it's or something. I see the merits in our training together. Ooh, Ferdy maxed out his stuff. I need more strength than this. I must make them. I'll sh Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Calvary. Giving less than one's all is. See how you do. New support conversation available. Support info. Dorothea and Monica. La 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 la. Is that Lady Dorothea? Oh, it is. Hello, Monica. Oh, is something wrong? Well. I was wondering. Are you the same Lady Dorothea who is known as the mystical songstress? Well, yes, I suppose I am. Did you not know that? Not at first, though it made perfect sense once I finally realized it. If 
find it difficult to believe it's really you. Well, I'm certainly not doing a lot of songstressy things here in the army, so I'm not surprised it took you a bit to put two and two together. But it should not have taken me this long. You have the same name, and you carry yourself in the same dignified manner as the Lady Dorothea I saw in the capital. I can't believe you're right in front of me. The excitement is so great I can barely stand. Oh, please, that's all in the past. Now I'm just another one of your allies. No, you're different. There wasn't a girl in the capital who didn't want to be you. I spent years trying to find a ticket to one of your performances. But when I finally found one, I ended up in a seat where I couldn't see the stage very well. It was so far back, I could barely even make out your face. Or the rest of you, for that matter. That's likely why I failed to recognize you at first. Well, I'm certainly pleased you came to see me. And I'm sorry the seat was less than ideal. Oh, but the costumes and stagecraft were more gorgeous and stirring than I ever could have imagined. Your songs captivated me. They reached out from the center of the stage all the way back to me in my little corner of the opera house. Just thinking about it puts a smile on my face. <laughs> you were a more passionate listener than I would have imagined, Monica. Uh, Moni? Still with me? Oh, my apologies, Lady Dorothea. I was sort of carried off by a wave of memories there. It's fine, but... Uh, can we maybe stop with all of the lady stuff? I find it a little unsettling. Well, all right, Dorothea. You know, I'm somewhat surprised you didn't return to the opera company once the war broke out. <laughs> You're not the only one. Adi and I being classmates was a big part of why I stayed, but... Suffice it to say that a lot happened, and now I'm here. It's a great honor to fight alongside you, Lady Dor... Uh, um... Dorothea. <laughs> Maybe I should just return the favor and start calling you Lady Monica. Okay, it's time for battle! battlefield are you headed to first we do this could use the help sure uh -huh. fragmentable wall yes. searching Strategy will sometimes be added based on the information acquired from surveying small sets. Strategies will be available to select in the battle prep screen. Okay. Let's go! Next battle. I'm surprised that we are using Hubert and Dorothea a lot. Oh, hey, hey. Now I'm starting to understand. Ferdinand is good against swords. Casper, spear, Bernadette, flying and spear. I've been pressing the wrong button this entire time. 
Let's use Bernie. Oh, battle map. Bernie is doing good in these two regions. So legit no reason for Cooper to be in here. Any good for Vert? Casper? It's the same as... We'll let Hubert stay on. Birdies. Monks. Don't have anything that's good against spellcasters yet. Well. Let's just go. The fight starts now. Soldiers and their allies. Perhaps this will shift the situation in our favor. Ice magic and frozen status. So this is defeat. I'm sorry. Tell me somebody saw that. We can overcome any hardship, including this one. Go to work. Job Edelgard. Here I go. Like it when I don't no really mistakes. need to do anything with you. Tastes more bitter than blackest coffee. How does that please you? Dummy! Dummy, yo! Come <laughs> on. 
Each is a battle strategy. Watch this! That was good! Um, but I'm not patting myself the back for the win or anything. Where did the best come Not to have done as I expected any less. My turn. <laughs> Level up. Level fifteen. I'm sorry. Orders have been carried out. Sethith. Church of Sarals. Yikes. Let us approach this from afar. Visor appeared. Not a problem. I've got Don't mind if I do. Nice. Walther the advisor. Side mission successful. Sorry for the father, my dear. Are you sure? Any final words? 
Kill him, Bernie! Victory. I'll win the next one too if I just stay focused. I'll win the next one too if I just stay focused. Hubert went to level 13. Bernadette's also leveled up somewhere. I won't let Level 16. Masters of Arts and Magic. What a fascinating power. Not that there's any point in me getting stronger. Ooh, a better bow. Point recovered. That's the main quest. Completing a chapter. Once you complete the main quest of a chapter, the story will progress to the next chapter and you will no longer be able to survey current chapter survey spots. The leftover training points or activity points cannot be carried over to the next chapter. Make sure you've done everything you want for deploying to the next chapter. Strength ring. I see. Uh -huh. I hear that, yes. Blaze. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Culinary Dabla. Let me know if I may be of further assistance. Well, how'd it go? Rocky Burdick. Any results, a good result.
The battle has begun at last. Uh, thinking, do we do chores or do we do kitchen? Let's do kitchen. The true enemy. Casper and Bernie. Yeah, Just a nice. The flavor's not really there. Might want oh, this looks great. Still looks nice though. Come back whenever you're hungry. Time is it's twenty two fourteen. Which battlefield are you headed to? I think we're gonna do this one a few more times. S rank is a bullion, S rank is a intermediate thingy. Casper? We still don't have anyone... Anything that's good against... Spellcasters. Or thieves. Put in Aspar. Now you'll see how hard I've been training. The fight starts now. Finally. Okay, we're just gonna do it the same way as before. Burning. Sure hope this goes okay. So what I'll back you up. Hang on. Maybe. So, what should I be doing again? Sure. Let's do that try. way. Here I go. No, Middle guard fights no, that one alone. So sick of all this waiting around. United, we are unbeatable. is a vital strategy. Don't mind if I do. Sure hope this goes 
okay? Is he a little bit? Taste more bitter than blackest coffee. Tell me somebody saw that! We won't let this opportunity go to waste. One level up. Me, 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 me. Yeah, not bad. Down. How does that please you? So, sure, let's try it. Here I go. No mistake, they must. Yeah. down. Success was to be expected. Hey, so oh, this is kind of bad, right? I got this.
terribly sorry for the bother, my dear. Boom. Critical Rusher 2. We did it! We did it! Stage complete. S rank, we received the bullion. For the fate! Help me strong. Burn dead level 14, Edgard 16. I Obviously, my main character. Ooh, Bernard Death's now officially maxed out. Ooh. Higher tier Vermin Edge. Higher level Javelins. Return to camp, yes. Training instructor, fire class. Bernadette. Archer proficiency. Flyers and okay, okay, okay. still don't have anything against the other. But that's fine for the time being, I guess. <clears throat> Which battlefield are you headed to? See if we can S rank this one. Last time we didn't have enough kills. Hmm, Bernard, that is actually good here. Yes, yeah, so this is an okay party to have. Yordi is technically not so good here. But that's fine. He's the main character after all. Let's earn our keep. At least 400 kills. Okay, Bernie. It's Bernie's time to shine. Show me where are the guys that you were strong against here. Sure hope this goes okay. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's ally to rescue, so stay on your toes. Maybe we should just run away. 
Strongholds ours. Let's get to Not a problem. I've got this. Started. Success was to be expected. Go. They must look. So, sure, let's try. Are you sure? <laughs> Round forty four. So this is defeat. So what should I be doing? Sure. I'm sorry. I'm still here. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must look this one. Take a 
Nice. S rank powers. Victorious warrior, you know. Bernie level fifteen, level up. Casper level thirteen. Bernie was the MVP today. Surprising. Edelgard is now armored lords. Maxed out. Jesus, already 5 hours and 29 minutes and we're only at the start of the game. I mean, I am playing hard. So I guess that's the reason. Level 18, Edelgard level 16. Hubert level 13, Ferdinand level 12, Lindhart 12, Casper level 13, Bernadette 15, Dorothea... Cool, cool. Let's have a look. Um, up here, here, training instructor. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Caspar is going brigand. What is the class for? Oh, here, brawler. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea if I turned him into a brawler instead of a brigand. But who the fuck cares at this point, anyways? We might be able to, like, uh, 
get someone else that wants to turn into a brawler later on, right? With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Okay. Good news for me, I have something to do tomorrow. A little bit of grinding. Some levels, probably, on everyone. Because I think I want the main character to reach level 20. It's level 18 right now. And keeping everyone else up to level is super expensive. Can't wait to see how you do. Did I save yet? Not yet. Now we do. Maybe we already did, but I don't really care. Okay. Nice. Ooh, wee, 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 wee. Guys, gals, ladies, gents, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm liking this game. I'm having fun so far. It has this nice combination between uh, Fire Emblem and uh, Dynasty Warriors. So, uh, so far, so good. We started with Edelgard's campaign. I'm most certain that we can choose campaigns between that of Rhea, Dimitri, and Cloud as well at some point. Uh, when, how, or what, I don't exactly know yet. This is the first time playing, the game just came out. Did not do any research. Uh, I'll be back streaming tomorrow, around the same time as today. If I don't feel completely exhausted because of the weather. And uh, that's kind of it. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. Talk to you all's latest, and until the very next time. Good night.